Unit 1. Names and Titles. Page 2. 2. Let's listen. What is the correct name of the hotel guest? Circle the correct answer. 1. My name is Maria Carter and I have a reservation. Is that M-A-R-Y-C-A-R-T-E-R? -E no, Maria. M-A-R-I-A. -A. Oh, right. Here it is. Two nights, right? That's right. Two. Can I have your name, please? Smith. Susanna Smith. Is that S-U-S-A-N? No, S-U-Z-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Sorry, Miss Smith. I don't see anything here, and the hotel is full tonight. What? Three. Mr. Wilson? That's right. Harry Wilson. Is that H-A-R-V-E-Y? No. H-A-R-R-Y. They call me Dirty Harry. Oh. Four. My name's Abramson. A-B-R-A-M-S-O-N. Do you have a reservation for me? Hmm, just a minute. First name Joseph? That's right, Joseph. Ah, yes. Here it is. Five. My name's Louis Jackson. Is that L-O-U-I-S-E? No, that's a girl's name. Oh, sorry. It's L-O-U-I-S. Of course. Six. Can I have your name, please? Cruz. C-R-U-I-S-E. And your first name? Marley. That's M-A-R-L-E-Y. That's an unusual name. <laughs> yes, it is. I hate it. Page three. Three. Let's listen. Task 1. Cindy's father is taking phone messages for her. Listen and complete the forms. 1. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Bob from school. Bob Jackson. Can you spell your last name? J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Okay. And what's your telephone number, Bob? 691-3839. Okay. Do you want Cindy to call you? Yes, please. Fine. I'll give her the message. Two. Hello. Tom Waite speaking. Hello. Can I speak to Cindy, please? Sorry, she's not here. Can I leave a message? Yes, of course. Thanks. This is Nancy. My number is 391-8246. Please ask Cindy to call me. Okay. I'll ask her to call you as soon as she gets back. Thank you. Three. Hello. This is Cindy's house, but Cindy's not home. Oh, I see. Can I leave a message, please? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. This is Brian calling. Brian Kennedy. Is that B-R-I-A-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y? Yes. And my number is 271-8914. 271-8914. Okay. And will you call again later? Yes, I will. Four. Oh, no, not another one. Hello. Hello. Is Cindy there? She's not here. Who's this? Um, this is her teacher, Miss Wilson. Oh, Miss Wilson. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to leave your number? It's okay. I'll call back. Page three. Three. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. 4. Page 4. 4. Let's listen.
Task 1. Listen. Are the woman's greetings formal or informal? Check the correct answer. 1. I'd like you to meet my friend, David Wilson. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. 2. Hi, let me introduce you. This is your new boss, Susan Jackson. Good morning, Ms. Jackson. 3. Hello? Hello. This is Bob Cruz calling. Good evening, Bob. How are you? 4. Hello. Do you remember me? I'm Michelle Bolton. Hi, Michelle. How's everything? 5. Good afternoon. I'm Charles Smith. I have an appointment at 2 o'clock. Hello, Mr. Smith. Nice to see you again. 6. Good afternoon. I'm John Carter, your new student. Hello, John. 7. Hello? Hi, this is Brian Abrams. I'm returning your call. Hi, Professor Abrams. Thanks for calling. Did you get my homework assignment? 8. Let me introduce you. This is your grandmother's doctor, Ruth Steinberg. Hello, Dr. Steinberg. I'm glad to meet you. I've heard great things about you. Page 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What name does each person use? Circle the correct answer. Unit 2. Describing People. Page 6. 2. Let's listen. People are describing other people. What are they describing? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. So is your boss young? He's in his 30s, I guess. About 35. Two. It's quite long. What color is it? It's light brown, and it's a little curly. Three. He's really not very tall. About 175 centimeters. Oh, yeah. That's not so tall. Four. He looks about 17. No, he's older than that. He's almost 25. No, I don't believe it. He doesn't look that old. Five. She likes to wear it really short. Yeah? And is it straight or curly? Curly, really curly. You can't miss her when you see her. Six. Is she short? No, she's really tall. About 180 centimeters. Seven. Is she in her teens or her 20s? I think she's in her 20s. She's really nice. Do you want to meet her? Yeah, sure. Eight. It's not really long, but it's very straight. And it's sometimes green. Green? Yeah. He sings in a rock band, I think. Page 7. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these descriptions of people. Check the correct picture. 1. 
What does your girlfriend look like, Tony? Cindy? Oh, she's tall, and she's got long, dark brown hair. Two. Tell me about your boyfriend, Anne. Well, his name's Bob. He's 17. Let me see. Well, he's got curly blonde hair. He's not very tall, about average, but he's really good looking. Three. So, Bob, what's the new girl in class like? She's pretty tall, about 170 centimeters. She's got glasses and short curly hair. I think she's about 20. What's her name? I can't remember. Anne, I think. Four. So, tell me about your cousin, Paul. Well, she's very pretty. Really? Is she blonde? No, she's got dark brown hair. Everybody likes her. She's an actress. Really? I'd like to meet her. Page 7. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 8. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Some parents are looking for their children in a department store. Listen and write each child's age. 1. It's my little boy. We were looking for some pants for my husband. Now I can't find him. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll find him. How old is he? He's seven. I see. And what color is his hair? It's light brown. Don't worry. We'll find him for you. Two. My little girl was here a minute ago, and now I can't find her. She's probably in the toy section. Can you describe her? Yes, she's five years old. And what color hair does she have? Brown, and it's very curly. All right, let's go to the toy section and see if she's there. Three. Has anyone seen a young kid? How old, sir? He's ten. He's always getting lost. Drives me crazy. Where did you last see him? Over by the video equipment. What color is his hair? Blonde and pretty long. Too long. Four. Excuse me. I've lost my little boy. We were looking at some microwaves, and he was bored and... Calm down, sir. Can you describe him? Yes. He's eight. Really cute. And what color is his hair? Dark brown. Okay. Let's see where he is. Just sit down and relax. Five. Excuse me, I've lost my daughter. Is she around 13, about average height, with short blonde hair? Why, yes. She's looking for you, over there, in the shoe department. Thanks a lot. Page 8. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Which child is being described? Number the pictures. <music> Unit 3. Clothes. Page 10. 2. Let's listen. Sandra is describing the people at her party. Which person is she describing? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Which one is David? David? There he is. He's wearing a jacket and tie, and he's got reddish blonde hair. Okay. Thanks. 2. I'm looking for Janet. Oh, she's wearing a long dress, and she's got glasses. Does she have long hair? No, it's not really long. 3. Which one is Ron? He's wearing a dark suit and a tie and sneakers. Sneakers? Okay, thanks. Four. I'm looking for Barbara. There she is, over there. She's wearing white pants and a red blouse. 
The one with the scarf? Yeah. Five. Who's Andy? He's wearing shorts and a t-shirt. He's got short blonde hair. Oh, I see him. Thanks. Six. I'm looking for Patty. Hmm. There she is. She's wearing a yellow skirt, a blue blouse, and red sandals. Thanks. Seven. Is Mary here tonight? Yes, she is. See her over there? She's wearing jeans and a green shirt. Jeans and a green shirt. Yes, and she's wearing a funny hat. Eight. Where's Ken? Oh, the bodybuilder? He's here somewhere. He's wearing shorts and a tight shirt, as usual. Tight shirt? Yeah, he likes to show off his muscles. Page 11. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are trying on clothes in a department store. Listen and number the pictures. 1. How are the pants, sir? I think they're too short. What do you think? Yes, I think you're right. They certainly are too short. Can you get me a longer pair? Two. Do you like this blouse? Well, I think it's a little too big. I guess so. Yes, it is pretty big. You definitely need a smaller one. Three. Are the sneakers comfortable? Well, I, I think they're a little small for me. Too small? Let me find a bigger pair. Four. Are those jeans all right? I'm afraid they're too big for me. Okay, then let's find a smaller pair. Five. How does the t-shirt fit? Is it too tight? Do you have a looser one? Six. How do you like the sandals? Too big, I'm afraid. Too big? Let me find a smaller size. Page 11. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What does each person need? Circle the correct answer. Page 12, 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Does the information you hear match the description? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Sonia was very well dressed. She had on a jacket and a long dark blue skirt. She was also wearing a yellow blouse. She wasn't carrying a bag, but she did have a small wallet with her. Oh, and I remember she had nice gold earrings. I also remember her shoes. She was wearing black shoes with very high heels. Two. Brian was very casually dressed. He was wearing some really old jeans, you know, the ones with holes in them, with a new wide leather belt and a white t-shirt. He had on some boots, high brown ones. They looked really nice. He also had a red scarf. He usually wears a couple of big rings, but he wasn't wearing any at the party. He was wearing an interesting silver watch, though. 3. Kevin was wearing a yellow shirt and a green tie. I didn't like the tie, but I liked the shirt. He also had on brown pants. He was wearing sneakers with long white socks. Kind of cute, actually. And he had a leather bag over one shoulder. 4. Mrs. Graham looked really good. She had on an interesting long red skirt and a beautiful gold and black jacket. 
and she had some lovely earrings and a nice necklace. She also had a long pink scarf over one shoulder. She didn't have a bag. She was wearing sandals. Page 12. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What was each person wearing? Circle the correct answer. Unit 4. Time. Page 14. 2. Let's listen. Listen and write the correct time on each clock. 1. Excuse me, what's the time? Uh, it's 10.15. Thanks. 2. Do you have the time? Let me see. Yeah, it's 10 after 2. 2.10? Two Thanks. 3. What time is it now? Hey, it's exactly 12 o'clock. Midnight. Happy New Year! <laughs> 4. Can you tell me the time, please? Yeah, it's 11.30. Wow, I'm late. Thanks. 5. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's a quarter to four. Thanks a lot. Six. I'm late again. What time is it now? It's 7.50. Class starts at eight. I've only got 10 minutes. Page 15. Three. Let's listen. Task one. Listen to these radio announcements. Circle the correct time. 1. You are listening to Star Radio at 90.9 .9 on your FM dial, the station with the best classic rock in town. The time is 7.15. Time for more classic rock from 90.9. 2. This is WBYZ 105.1 FM, and the time is coming up to 10.05. And we've got more music for you, so stay tuned. 3. You are listening to X98.5 on your FM dial, the jazz station. The time now is just a minute away from 2 o'clock. Four. This is your AM station talk radio, WXYZ. Time now is 11.02. Don't touch that dial. Five. This is the BBC. The time is 6.15. Six. You are tuned to WQXR, your classical music station. And the time is exactly 1.40. Time for the Ninth Symphony by... 7. This is 1010 News Radio, the station with all the news all the time. Time now is 9.30. 8. This is your station for easy listening, KABC. The time right now is going on 5.05. Page 15. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again and circle the correct radio station. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are calling about showtimes for movies. Listen and write the showtimes you hear. 1. Thank you for calling Cinema World. 
Our box office opens every afternoon at 2.30. Today in Cinema A, we are showing Holiday in Rome, starring Gina Jones. Showtimes are 3.40, 5.45, 7.55, and 10.15. 2. In Cinema B, we are showing Hong Kong Warrior. Showtimes are 4.30, 6.40, 8.30, and 10.45. Don't forget to visit our new coffee bar located next to Cinema B. It's open every day from 2.30 to 10.30. 3. In Cinema C, we are showing Ralph the Rabbit. Showtimes are 3 o'clock, 4.40, 6.30, and 8.15. Also, at 10 o'clock, tonight only, a sneak preview of Crazy Cops, Hollywood's latest comedy action film. 4. In Cinema D, we are showing The Alien from Saturn. Showtimes are... 3.20, 5.10, 7.20, and 9.40. Don't forget, our box office closes every evening at 9.55. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Write the times. Unit 5. Dates. Page 18. 2. Let's listen. Listen to people talking to visitors. Write the date the visitors arrived and the date they are leaving. 1. Have you been here long? No. We arrived a few days ago, on the first of the month. And how long are you staying? We're staying exactly two weeks. We leave on the 14th. 2. When did you get here? I arrived on the 4th. Will you be here long? Until the 13th. Not long enough, really. 3. Did you just arrive? I arrived on July 2nd. Are you enjoying your vacation? Oh, yes. But it's too short. I leave on the 10th. 4. When did you arrive? We got in on the 5th. How long are you staying? We're leaving on the 15th. We're just staying 10 days. 5. Did you just arrive? We got here on the 3rd. And do you plan to stay long? Yes. We're not leaving until the end of the month. The 31st? That's right. 6. When did you arrive? On the 6th. And when are you leaving? On the 16th. Page 19. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Don is checking messages on his voicemail. Listen and write the date and time of each event. 1. This is Dr. Costello's office. We're calling to change your dental appointment to August 3rd at 9.30 in the morning. Thank you. 2. Hi, Don. It's Sue. I'm calling about Cindy's birthday party. It's on July 28th at 8 p.m. Are you free? I'll call you later. 3. Hello, Don. This is Aunt Betty. How are you, darling? Listen, I'm coming to town next month. I'd love to see you. I'm arriving on August the 10th at 11.15 in the morning. I'll call you from the airport. Bye. 4. Hi, Don. This is Ted. Listen, we can't play tennis on Saturday. Are you free Sunday afternoon, July 26th, around 3? 5. Hello, Don. This is Francis. I'll be back for my trip on Tuesday, September 22nd. Let's meet in my office that Tuesday around 6 p.m., okay? Let me know. 6. This is Star Travel. We've booked your flight to New Orleans for next month. You leave on August 2nd on Flight 101 from Kennedy Airport at 2 p.m. Page 19. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. 
Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their birthdays. Have they had their birthdays yet this year? Check the correct answer. 1. Isn't it your birthday this month, Ted? Hey, it was a month ago. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about it. So did you have a big party or something? No, I had to study because of the exams at school. 2. Have you had your birthday yet, Jill? No, it's in two months. Oh, that's right. So what are you planning to do this time? I'm going to New York with my mom and dad. Hey, fabulous. 3. Have you had your birthday yet, Sue? No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. Don't worry, I won't. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Great! That sounds fun. 4. Is your birthday this month or next month, Brian? I can't remember. Oh, it was a month ago. Really? So how was it? It was okay, but very quiet. I had a family party at home. Oh, that sounds nice. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What activity did each person do, or will each person do, for his or her birthday? Circle the correct answer. <music> Unit 6. Jobs. Page 22. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about work. What job are they talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I'm a salesperson. I sell computers. I like my job. It's really interesting. And I meet lots of interesting people. 2. Yes, I like it a lot. I like acting in front of lots of people. One day, I hope to write a book about my work. 3. It's an interesting job, and it's good for me because I love travel and flying. I visit lots of countries every year. And, well, I know it's silly, but I like my uniform. 4. It's a good job for me because I like food and I love cooking. Lots of famous people come to our restaurant, too. 5. Nursing is a good job for me. I like helping people. You know, sick people. 6. I like my work because I work outside. It's hard work, but the pay's good, and it keeps me in shape. Page 23. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their work. Check the correct information about each person. 1. Hi, Ted. Oh, hi. Are you still working in the bank? Yeah. 2. Where are you working now, Sonia? I just started as a chef in an Italian restaurant. Come and try my food. Sounds great. I'd love to. 3. Are you still at school, Bob? No. I graduated from college last month. Congratulations. And what are you doing now? Nothing much. I'm tired. I'm taking a long vacation. 4. What do you do, Marie? Me? I'm a lawyer. How long have you been doing that? For about five years. Do you need a good lawyer? Well, not yet. 5. Are you a receptionist, Suzanne? Yes, I am. Do you like the people you work with? Well, it's my first week on the job, so I'm not sure yet. 6. Are you still a tennis instructor, Martha? No, I'm not. I didn't like it. 
So what are you doing now? Well, I'm trying to find a new job. 7. Do you work in an office, Fred? Not anymore. Now I'm an English teacher. I just had my first class. Really? How was it? It was terrific. 8. Are you still working at the bookstore, Sue? Yeah, but I don't like it. I have to stand all day and I get so tired. I'm sorry to hear that. Page 23. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Match the people on the left with the information on the right. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their jobs. Do they like their jobs? Check the correct answer. 1. So how do you like your job, Bill? Well, it was okay at first, but now, after two years, I don't like it. Oh, why is that? It's boring. I do the same thing every day. I'm really sick of it. So why don't you change jobs? I'm well paid. I like the money. Oh, I see. But you should leave if you're not happy. Yeah, maybe I should. 2. Do you like teaching children, Christine? Oh, yes. I love working with kids. They're so much fun. Well, I guess you have the perfect job. Yeah, I like it a lot. There's just one thing I don't like. What's that? The distance to school. It's too far away. It takes me an hour to drive there every day. Wow, that must be awful. It is. But the schools that are near me are not as good. 3. How is your new job going, Anna? Good, thanks. I really like it. What do you like best about it? I think it's the people I work with. They are so nice. People make all the difference in a job, don't they? They sure do. The only trouble is I have to travel a lot. I'm away from home for about two weeks every month. Yeah, that can be difficult. It is. I hope I won't have to travel so much next year. 4. Do you enjoy being a salesperson, Nancy? Yes, I do like it. I get to meet so many people. Is it hard work? Yes, it can be. I don't like the long hours. I'm always really tired when I get home at night. That's too bad. Why don't you quit? Because I think my boss is great to work for. 5. How long have you been working in a restaurant, Martin? For more than five years. Wow, you must really enjoy it. Oh, no. I don't enjoy it at all. It's hard work and pretty tiring, too. I'm on my feet all night. Oh, I see. But the tips are great. I really should find a better job soon, though. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do the people like or dislike about their jobs? Check the correct answer. <music> Unit 7. Sports and Exercise. Page 26. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about sports and exercise. Listen and number the pictures. 1. Do you play sports on the weekend, Rita? No, I hate sports. Really? So what do you do on the weekend? Uh, I watch my favorite programs on TV. Well, that's not too tiring. 2. Do you like sports, Rod? Sure. I play a lot of sports. So what sports do you play? Well, everything. Baseball, volleyball, swimming. But my favorite sport is tennis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I play every day after work. Three. You're in great shape, Martha. Thanks. So how do you do it? Well, I go to the pool about three times a week, and I swim for about two hours. Two hours? Are you practicing for the Olympic Games or something? Four. How do you keep in shape, Ron? Me? I travel. 
<laughs> what do you mean you travel? Well, I ride my bike about 20 miles every weekend. Five. Wow, what happened? I went skiing. Gee, that looks pretty bad. Yeah. Do you often go skiing? No, it was my first time. Six. Do you get much exercise, Joe? Yes, I do. I walk a lot. Where? To McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I walk there about four times a week to get a hamburger and fries. Page 27. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Which sports or activities is the person talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Your muscles are so big, Dave. What do you do to get them so big? Well, I go to the gym every day after work, and on Saturdays, too. I love it. Do you work out? 2. Do you play a lot of sports? Yes, I do. Do you like volleyball? Yeah, I play volleyball during the week. Want to play with me and my friends tonight? 3. You're in good shape, Ken. Do you play a lot of sports? Yes, I do. I love sports. I play volleyball on Thursdays, and on Saturdays and Sundays, I play tennis. Which one do you like the best? 4. Do you like playing sports? Nah, not really. I don't like exercising at all. But I do watch a lot of baseball on TV. You really should get some exercise. 5. What kinds of sports do you play? Let's see. Well, in the summer I enjoy windsurfing, but I don't do anything in the winter. Why not? 6. So do you get any exercise? Well, not much. I don't have a lot of free time, but about once a week I walk for an hour. Oh, where do you walk? Page 27. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do you think each person says next? Circle the correct answer. Page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about how they spend their free time. Check the correct information about each person. 1. Bill. I think exercise is so important to good health. There is a really good sports club near my school. During the week, I play tennis there for an hour before school starts. On weekends, I usually work out at the gym near my house for a few hours. I also play baseball with some friends from school. It's so much fun. 2. Liz I don't like jogging or doing anything too energetic. I prefer taking walks. I like to take a short walk every day through the park across from my house. Sometimes my boyfriend goes with me. It's nice to talk and look at the flowers and trees. On Sunday, I like to swim, but for only about a half hour. I sleep the rest of the weekend. 3. Victor I am a big football fan, but I only watch it on TV. I can't stand playing it. There are great games to watch on the weekend. I also enjoy watching tennis. I'd like to learn someday, but I don't like to sweat. I love chess and often play with my younger sister. She's really good at it and usually wins. On the weekends, I love to play video games with some of my friends. 4. Maria I just love to exercise. I like many different sports. Let's see. I like swimming a lot. I get up very early, around 5 a.m., and swim for two hours from Monday to Friday. I also enjoy basketball and play with a group of friends from work every Tuesday night. And I've also started playing golf this year. Before playing, I go jogging to warm up. 5. David 
I enjoy exercise, but I don't do it as much as I should. I meet a friend every Wednesday, and we play tennis. I'm not a very good player, but it's fun, and we usually play for an hour. On weekends, I like to bicycle in our neighborhood. I guess I spend an hour or two doing that. Oh, and I love baseball, but only watching it while sitting on the couch eating popcorn. Page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Match the people on the left with the activities on the right. Unit 8. Locations. Page 30. 2. Let's listen. Some people are asking where items are. Listen and check the correct picture. 1. Mom, have you seen my magazine? I think it's in the living room on top of the TV. 2. Now where's today's newspaper? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I was reading it. It's on the sofa between the cushions. 3. Do you know where the remote control is? Look in the living room. I think I saw it in front of the TV. Oh, yeah. Four. Where's my tennis racket? Did Dad borrow it again? I wish he'd ask me. I saw it in your bedroom under your bed. Oh, yeah. That's right. Page 31. Three. Let's listen. Task 1. Pat is helping Tom decorate his new apartment. Listen and write the number in the location she suggests. 1. Do you think I should put the magazine rack next to the window? No, not next to the window. I'd put it in the corner next to the sofa. It will look nice there. 2. Where do you think I should put the coffee table? Should I put it next to the sofa? I think it will be better in front of the sofa. It'll be more useful there, I think. 3. What about the plant stand? It might be nice next to the window. Yes, next to the window, either on the left or on the right. I think I'll put it on the right. 4. Now, what about the bookshelf? It's so big. Hmm. What do you think? How about next to the door against the wall? To the left of the door? Five. Now I need to find a place for this old chair that my mom gave me. How about over there? You mean in front of the window? Six. We still have to find a place for this end table. Yes. Where can we put it? How about next to the sofa, in the corner near the door? Yes, good. Is that okay now? 7. Where is a good place for the TV? How about in the far left corner, to the left of the window? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll put it there. There. How does it look? 8. What about the dinner table? Maybe we can put the dinner table against the wall, across from the sofa, in the middle of the wall. Across from the sofa, against the wall. Is that what you mean? Page 31. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do you think each person says next? Circle the correct answer. Page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Tony is helping Cindy clean up the house. Where should he put the items? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Do these magazines go on the bookshelf? Yes. Put them on the bookshelf, please. On the top is fine. Should I put them beside the dictionary? Yes. Next to the dictionary will be fine. I'd like to read these magazines later. 
They look interesting. Two. What about the remote control for the TV? Put it beside the TV. There's a magazine there, the TV program guide. Should I put it on the TV program guide? That's fine. And remind me to get a new battery for the remote when we go downtown. Okay. Three. These look like your car keys. Where do you usually keep them? They're my extra apartment keys, actually. Just put them in one of the drawers in the desk. The top two drawers are already full of stuff, so I'll put them in the bottom drawer for you. They'll be inside an empty box. Okay. Four. Do you want me to put this baseball cap away? Yeah, just put it behind the door. Where? Should I hang it on the doorknob? No, on the hook behind the door. It will be fine there, thanks. I didn't know you wore a baseball cap. It's not mine, it's my brother's. Five. Do you need these glasses? Not right now. I only use them for reading. Do you see the case they go in? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Leave them on the coffee table next to those sheets of paper. Okay. Six. There's a belt lying on the floor here. Oh, yes. That's my brother's. He leaves his clothes everywhere. It drives me crazy. Should I put it somewhere? Leave it on the chair. He always sits there. Okay. The chair next to the window? That's right. Page 32. Four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. This is the end of Compact Disc 1. Basic Tactics for Listening, 2nd Edition, by Jack C. Richards. Published and copyright, Oxford University Press, 2003. Compact Disc 2. Unit 9, The Family. Page 34. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their families. Listen and number the pictures. 1. That's me in the middle. That's my oldest niece, Betsy, on the left. She's in her second year of college. And that's my nephew on the right. He's just finished high school. Oh, he's handsome. Two. That's me on the left. Who are the other two? Those are my sister and brother, Maria and Jose. They're twins. How old are they? They're ten. Three. That's me and my parents. Boy, you look just like your dad. No, I don't. Four. This is a picture of my son and daughter. Is your daughter older than your son? Yes, much older. She's 26. How old is your son? He's 17. That's a big difference. Five. These are my parents. And that's my grandmother on the left. How old is she? She's 60. She looks young for 60. Six. This is my father with my uncle and aunt and two cousins. Which one is your father? The one on the left. Oh, yes. Page 35. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their families. How many brothers and sisters do they have? Listen and write the numbers. 1. Do you have any brothers and sisters, Stephanie? No brothers. I wish I did, but I've got three sisters. Really? Yeah, and I'm the youngest. Poor you. Two. Tell me about your family, Donna. Well, I've got one brother. He's older than me. What does he do? He's a student, and I've got two younger sisters. Wow, you have a big family. Three. Do you have any brothers or sisters, Bob? 
Just one. My sister, Anna. Is she older than you? Yes, she is. She always bosses me around. Four. Tell me about your family, Rosie. Well, I come from quite a big family. I've got two brothers, both of them younger than me. Really? Do you have any sisters? Yeah, I have one older and one younger sister. You're lucky. I wish I came from a big family. Five. Do you come from a big family, Tina? No, I'm an only child. It's just me and my parents. Page 35. Three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Page 36. Four. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about themselves and other family members. Which family member is the speaker most similar to? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Wen Ping Both of my parents are taller than me. My dad is pretty tall, but my brother is even taller than my dad. Together they look like a basketball team. My sister and I are the short ones in the family. 2. Michael My brother isn't interested in music at all. He's into cars, like my dad. But I'm not interested in cars. I play the guitar and the piano. I guess I love music because of my mom. She sings beautifully. She plays the piano really well, too. 3. Justin I love animals. I have a dog and I keep a couple of parrots in a big cage in my room. I love taking photographs of wild birds when I'm in the countryside. My dad and I often go away for the weekend and we have a great time bird watching. My sister thinks I'm crazy. When my sister has free time, she loves to play cards. I can't stand card games. 4. Susan I enjoy reading. I read a lot of books, and I love going to the library. My dad likes outdoor things. He's really into sports and swimming, and he always tells me I should get more interested in sports, but Mom tells me that reading is the best way to learn. She always gives me books that she's been reading. 5. Robert I'm very interested in computers. I'm always teaching myself new computer programs, and I have a lot of great software. My brother and I spend all our free time in computer stores and on the Internet. My sister is more interested in the arts. She likes music, and she loves to read. She hates computers. 6. Beth I love traveling. My mother and I go to a different place every year. Both of us love to learn new things about cultures. My father never goes with us because he hates flying. My older sister is in college, so she stays home and studies while we're away. Sometimes I wish my sister and my father would travel with us because I miss them. Page 36. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. How is each family member different from the speaker? Write the letter. Unit 10, Entertainment, page 38. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about entertainment. Listen and number the pictures. 1. So do you think we should go and see it? Yes, I think so. I hear it's very good. My friend said the story is great, and I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. So do I. His movies are always full of action. 2. What's the weather going to be like on Saturday? Hot and sunny. Oh, good. So let's go, then. It'll be perfect for swimming. Yeah, but I just want to lie on the sand and sleep. 3. What time is the game? It's at 2 o'clock. Great. Are you playing? Sure. 4. 
What do you want to do this weekend? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. Hey, I know. Let's get the guys and go rollerblading. Okay. Five. What do you need to buy? Well, I need some new jeans. And I need some shirts. Okay, let's go on Saturday afternoon. Six. Want to come with me on Saturday? I don't think it'll be too hot. It's great exercise. Okay, I'll pack a lunch. Maybe we can ride to a park and have a picnic. Great idea. Page 39. Three. Let's listen. Task one. These people are calling friends about the weekend. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. One. Hello. Hi, Penny. This is Bob. Hi, Bob. How are things? Fine. Say, um, would you like to go to a movie on Friday night? A movie? Sure. I think I'm free Friday night. What movie do you want to see? Two. Hello. Hi, Anne. This is Mary. Oh, hi, Mary. How are you? Great. Look, I'm calling about the weekend. I'm having a party. A party? Well, that sounds fun. When? On Saturday night. Saturday night is fine with me. Great. Three. Hello. Hello, Nancy. This is Ken. Oh, hi, Ken. I'm calling about Friday night. Are you doing anything? I don't think so. Great. How about going to a disco with me? A disco? Sure. Thanks. You know I love to dance. What time? Four. Hello. Hi, Ann. This is Mike. Hi, Mike. What's up? There's a football game on Sunday afternoon. A football game? Yeah. Would you like to go? Oh, sorry. I'm not free on Sunday. Oh, well. Some other time, maybe. Five. Hello. Hi, Wendy. This is Jack. Oh, uh, hi. Say, there's a good movie on TV tonight. Do you want to come over and watch it with me? Oh, I'd love to, but I can't tonight. I have too much work to do. Page 39. Three. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct answer for each question. Page 40. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these invitations. Does the person accept or refuse? Check the correct answer. 1. Bobby, would you like to go out for dinner Thursday? Thursday? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to meet my sister for dinner. Oh, well, some other time then. Sure. 2. Melissa, would you like to see a movie on Saturday? That sounds great. What time? At 9.30? All right. 3. Hey, Jack, let's go for coffee after class on Monday. Oh, sorry. I have to go downtown. I have an appointment. Oh, okay. 4. Betty, do you want to come over to my house for dinner Wednesday? Thanks. I'd love to. What time? Around 6.30. Okay. See you then. 5. Hey, Ralph, let's play tennis on Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon? I can't. I'm going away for the weekend. Maybe some other time? Sure. 6. Say, Jill, I'm going shopping Friday night. I need a new dress. Want to come? Friday night? Okay. I'm not doing anything special. Good. Let's go after work. Fine. Page 40. 4. Let's listen. Task 2.
Listen again. What is each invitation for? Circle the correct answer. Unit 11, Prices, page 42. 2. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these people asking about prices. Write the price of each item. 1. Can I help you? Yes. How much are these shoes? They're on sale. Let's see. They're $45. Uh-huh. Do you want to try them on? No, thanks. 2. How much is this computer? It's on sale for $4,099. $4,099? Do you want to buy it? Uh, that's okay. I'm just looking. 3. Hey, this tie isn't bad. How much is it? It's $36.95. $36.95? Well, maybe I don't really need a tie. Thanks anyway. Four. These shorts are nice, aren't they? Yes, and they're only $26.95. Do you want to take them? Yeah, I think I will. Five. How much are these earrings? They're only $12.25. They're nice. I'll take them. Okay. Six. That camera looks interesting. How much is it? It's on sale. It was $145, but now it's only $125. Hmm. Well, I'll think about it. Page 42. 2. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Did the person buy the item? Check the correct answer. Page 43. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to cashiers in a store. Write the total amount each person needs to pay and the amount of change each person receives. 1. Let's see. Soup. That's two for a dollar. And a bottle of shampoo, six fifty. So that comes to seven fifty. And your change is twelve fifty. Two. Okay, now, let me see what you've got. The CD is $14.95, and the cassette, oh, a good one, my favorite group. It's on sale for $4.95, uh, so let me see. That comes to $19.90, so here's your change, 10 cents. Three. Yes, can I help you? Okay, let's see. The newspapers are 150, and the magazines will cost another 815. Yes, so that's, let me see, 965, right? Here's your change, 1035. Four. So you're taking the t-shirt, nice choice. The color suits you. Okay, that's $4.95. Then the socks, they're another $3.20, so that's $8.15. And here's your change, $11.85. Five. Hmm, I like chocolates too. Okay, that's $9.50 for the chocolates. And chocolate chip cookies, too. Mmm, you really do like chocolate. The cookies are $2.99, so that's $12.49. And here's your change, $7.51. Six. Is this all? Okay, let's see. Now the magazines are $6.25. And you're taking the book? That's $12. So that comes to $18.25 altogether. And here's your change. That's $1.75. Page 45. 
Page 43. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Check the two things each person bought. Page 44. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about prices in the U.S. and prices in their own country. Check the correct answer. 1. I could never buy a car at home because we pay a very high tax on cars. Only rich people can really afford to buy a car at home. Here in the U.S., I drive a nice new car and I can easily afford it. You don't have to be rich to own a car, which is great. 2. At home, it only costs about $200 a month to rent a nice apartment. That's what I used to pay for a four-room apartment in a good neighborhood. Here in the U.S., I pay about twice that for a much smaller apartment, and it's not in a very nice neighborhood. 3. I bought a lot of clothes in my country before I moved to the U.S. because everyone told me how expensive American clothing is. I was kind of surprised that I could get nice clothes here for very reasonable prices. In fact, it costs me less for clothes here than it used to cost me at home. 4. I come from a small country, and not a lot of people travel by plane because it costs more than most people can afford. But the U.S. is such a big country, and the population is large, so you have a lot of people traveling by plane. That's what keeps the prices down. That means I can afford to fly here, and I do it all the time. I couldn't do that at home. 5. Most people send their children to private schools at home because the public schools are not very good. You have to pay a lot to do that, so it's a big expense for many people. Public schools are better here and cheaper than in my country. People don't have to spend a lot on tuition, so most people send their children to public schools. 6. Here in the U.S., you need to have health insurance because it costs a lot to see a doctor or to enter a hospital. At home, you don't have to pay much to see a doctor or go to a hospital because most of the clinics and hospitals are run by the government. Page 44. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. <music> Unit 12. Restaurants. Page 46. 2. Let's listen. People are ordering food in a restaurant. Listen and check each person's order. 1. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like to start with the salad, please. Okay. And what would you like for your main dish? Hmm. I'll have the spaghetti. Is it good? I've never tried it. Uh, anything to drink? Tea, please. And how about dessert? Not today, thanks. Hi there. What can I get you today? Well, let me see. I'll just have some soup and a salad. Sure. Soup and salad. Our special today is grilled fish, and that comes with broccoli or peas. No, thanks. Not today. I'm not very hungry, but I would like some chocolate ice cream for dessert. Sure. Anything to drink? Coffee. And some water, please. Three. Hi, have you decided yet? 
Is the beef stir-fry very spicy? Yes, it's pretty hot. Hmm. I think I'll have a hamburger and fries then, and a glass of milk. Anything for dessert? The cheesecake is excellent. No thanks. Page 47. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are having dinner. What does the waitress bring them? Listen and check the correct picture. 1. There you are, sir. Two slices of pizza and a large cola. Thank you. Hmm. How does it look? Okay, I guess, but I think I should have ordered three or four slices. These slices are much smaller than I expected. 2. And here's your order. Steak with french fries and coffee. Thanks. I can't wait to eat. I'm starving. It looks okay. How is it? Let me try. Oh, just perfect. 3. Sorry to keep you waiting. One order of fried chicken with broccoli. Thanks. Oh, my. This chicken looks pretty dry. Really? How does it taste? I'm afraid it's not very fresh. I think it must have been frozen. Let's send it back. 4. There's your order, ma'am. Fish, salad, and peas. Oh, but you told me today's vegetable was broccoli. You don't like peas, do you? No, I don't. I hate peas. 5. And here's your dessert. Chocolate cake with two scoops of ice cream and a large cola. Great. Wow, that cake looks good. I wish I had ordered it. Do you want to try it? It's delicious. Just a taste. Mmm, fabulous. 6. Did you order the spaghetti? That's right. Good. Here you are. And here's your cola. Thanks. I don't think I made a very good choice. Really? Yeah. I think I can make better spaghetti than this. Page 47. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Was each customer pleased or not pleased with the order? Check the correct answer. Page 48. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about meals they had at a restaurant. Did they like their meals? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. I went to a new steak restaurant last night that opened near my house. I love trying new places. To start the meal, I had an interesting appetizer. It was some kind of seafood with a spicy sauce on it. Mm. The main dish, of course, was steak. It was very small and a little tough, though. However, the vegetables were great, nice and fresh, but not too oily. The final thing was the best, the dessert. It was apple pie with a lot of ice cream on it. I know that I shouldn't eat so many sweets, but it was delicious. Two. Have you ever tried that seafood restaurant on Main Street? You should. It's great. I go there often. In fact, I went there last weekend. To begin, I had a salad. It was nice and fresh with a great house dressing. My main dish was a fish that I had never tried. I really enjoyed the spices it was cooked in. The vegetables were good. Very fresh and tasty. For dessert, I had chocolate cake. It's usually very delicious, but this time it was much too sweet. I couldn't eat more than two bites. That's okay, though, because I am on a diet. 3. My new girlfriend took me to a Chinese restaurant in her neighborhood the other night. It was pretty good. First, we had some egg rolls. They were the best I had ever tasted. Then we ordered the beef and pepper stir-fry. It came in a very interesting sauce, spicy, but not too spicy. We also ordered the steamed vegetables. 
but they were awful. They were really too soft. The dessert was a big bowl of fresh fruit, some of the fruit I had never seen. It was fantastic, and so was my date. 4. For lunch, my co-worker and I went to a nice little French restaurant near our office. He didn't feel like eating much, so he just had a small salad. I had a large meal, though. First, I had the onion soup, but it was much too salty. For my main dish, I had a piece of pork. It was too dry and had no taste. The vegetables were perfect, though. Broccoli and peas. Those are my favorites. Finally, I had a large bowl of chocolate mousse. It was just like the chocolate mousse I had in France during my last vacation. Very creamy and delicious. I think I'll have it next time, too. Page 48. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 13, Small Talk, page 50. 2. Let's listen. Listen to the conversations. Is each person greeting someone or ending a conversation? Check the correct answer. 1. Oh, hello, Bob. I haven't seen you in ages. How is everything with you these days? 2. It's been great seeing you again. Gee, look at the time. I've got to run. Talk to you later. Three. How are you anyway? It's so nice to see you. What have you been doing lately? Four. It's been really nice talking to you. Let's get together again soon, okay? Five. Oh, hi. I've been thinking about you. I haven't seen you in such a long time. How's everything? Six. Where have you been? It's been ages. How's it going with you? Seven. Listen, I hope to see you again soon. Let's have lunch sometime, okay? Eight. How have you been? And how's your family? It's so nice to see you again. Page 51. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Some guests are talking at a party. What are they talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hey, how's it going? Are you enjoying the party? Yes, I am. The people here are really nice. Really? Everyone is so friendly. Hi, Jim. How's everything? Everything's fine, thanks. Hey, hear that? That's Whitney Hudson. Isn't she great? Yes, she's really good. Three. Who's that over there? Have you met her? No, I haven't met her before, but I think I will now. Nice talking to you. Four. So how are you anyway? Okay, not too bad. How's everything at work? Fine, but I'm very busy. I have to work late nearly every night. Five. I think I'll get something to eat. The food looks good. Can I get you something? No. I'm not hungry right now, thanks. Okay. Talk to you later. Six. Hey, hi. I've been thinking about you. I haven't seen you in ages. Did you have a good trip? Yeah, it was great. 
I took a train across Canada. Then I drove to Disneyland. Wow, that's great. Seven. Hey, great to see you. How have you been? Fine, thanks. How are your parents? Oh, Mom and Dad are fine, thanks. Mom's just started a new job. Oh, really? Eight. Hi, how have you been? Oh, fine, thanks. Do you know everyone here? Yeah, almost everyone. Page 51. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Which statement is true? Circle the correct answer. Page 52. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Two people are talking. Does the second speaker know the information? Or is it new information? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, I was just talking to Cindy. Did you know she's had a really good job in a computer company for a long time? Really? Yeah, but she's decided to change jobs. She wants to become an elementary school teacher. Wow, that's a surprise. 2. I'm really excited about the rock concert next week. I'm glad I got my tickets early, because I heard that all the tickets have been sold. I heard that, too. I'm looking forward to the concert. It should be great. 3. I got a really cool present for my birthday. Oh, yeah? What is it? My parents gave me a dog, a little puppy. She's so cute. I've always wanted a dog. That's awesome. So what are you going to call her? Spot. Four. Terry's not here tonight. I hear she's sick. Yeah, I spoke to her dad this morning and he said she has a really bad case of the flu. She's had it for about a week. Sometimes it takes a long time to get over the flu. Terry has been sick a couple of times this year. I know. It's too bad. Five. That guy over there has just moved here from Canada. I was talking to him a while ago. He's really interesting. He's an actor, and he's already appeared in a couple of movies. Yeah, so he was telling me. He mentioned the names of his movies, but I haven't seen any of them. Maybe one day he'll be a big star. Six. There's a really interesting exhibition at the museum this month. It's all about Walt Disney and the story of how he started making cartoons. Is that right? I haven't been to the museum for a long time. You should go and take a look at it. I'm sure you'll find it really interesting. I think I will. Thanks for letting me know. Page 52. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Unit 14, Vacations, page 54. 2. Let's listen. These people didn't have a good vacation. What did they do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Did you have a good vacation? Not bad. I decided not to go away. I just stayed home and watched TV. You call that a vacation? 2. How was your vacation? So-so. Where did you go? I went to Hawaii. And? Well, I went for the sunshine, but it rained every day, so I couldn't get a tan. Hey, that's tough. Three. How was your vacation? Very disappointing. Oh, what did you do? Nothing. I stayed home and helped my father fix his car. Oh, no. 
Four. Did you do anything interesting on your vacation? Hmm. Well, I went out of town for a few days. I visited my brother and his family. Did you have a nice time? It was terrible. The kids were fighting all the time. Five. When did you get back from your trip? Last week. So did you go to the beach? Not this time. I rented a house in the country. It was really quiet and peaceful and really boring. And the birds woke me up at 6 o'clock every morning. 6. What did you do on your vacation? Did you stay home? No, I went skiing. Really? Did you have a good time? It was great, until I broke my leg. 7. How was your vacation? Vacation? Oh, that. Did you go to the beach? No, I had to stay home and study for my exam. Sounds awful. It was, and I failed the exam. Eight. Did you go to California for your vacation? No, I went to Nevada. To Las Vegas? Yeah, Las Vegas. That's great. How was it? Oh, it was all right until I lost all my money. Page 55. Three, let's listen. Task one, people are talking about their vacations. Did they enjoy them? Listen and check the correct answer. One, did you have a nice vacation? It was nothing special. The weather was terrible. That's too bad. Two, did you enjoy your trip to Vancouver? Yeah, it was fantastic. The people are so nice. Three. How was your ski trip? Awful. Why? There was no snow. Four. So how was your trip to France? Very disappointing. It was so crowded everywhere. We couldn't even get a hotel room. That's too bad. You should never go in July. Now you tell me. Five. When did you get back from the beach? Last weekend. I had a terrific time. I swam every day, and I learned how to windsurf. Great. Six. Did you have a nice vacation? It was terrible. The food was awful, and the hotel wasn't clean at all. Oh, that's too bad. Seven. So how was your trip to Thailand? I had a wonderful time. The shopping was fantastic. And the people were great. Sounds like you had fun. I did. Eight. Did you have a great vacation? Really great. But it was too short. Really? How long was it? Only a month. A month? You're lucky. Page 55. Three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. What word completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Page 56. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their vacations. Listen and number the pictures. 1. Is this you? Yes, it is. Wow. It looks really fun, but hard. How do you stay on them? In the beginning, you don't. You fall off all the time, but you learn pretty quickly. I had a wonderful time. Two. What are you doing here? My friends and I went camping. It was really great, but it got very cold at night. This is how we kept warm. Three. What did you do? Oh, I went sightseeing and visited all the museums. Oh, that sounds interesting. Actually, it was pretty boring. I hate museums. Four. Oh, this must have been a wonderful vacation. Yes, it was fantastic. The weather was perfect, and the water was so clear. Wow, look at you. You're all red. Yes, I got a terrible sunburn. Five. What are you doing here? Oh, I took a cooking course in Italy. Terrific. So what can you make now? Spaghetti and meatballs.
Six. Did you go all the way in this? Yes, we did. It was really very comfortable to travel in. We slept in it, too. Page 56. Four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 15, Apartment Living, page 58. Two, let's listen. People are describing their apartments. Listen and number the pictures. One. What's your apartment like, Ken? It's comfortable, but it's pretty small. It's only got one room. Really? Don't you have a bedroom? No, I sleep in the living room. What about your dog? She sleeps in the living room, too, right next to me. Two. What's your new apartment like, Celia? It's really big. I love it. How many rooms does it have? Lots. It's got two bedrooms, a living room, and a huge kitchen and bathroom. Sounds great. So when can I come and stay with you? Three. Do you like your apartment, Joe? Not really. It's very small. Really? Yeah. Just one bedroom and a living room. That isn't so small. How many people live with you? Seven. Seven? Wow! Four. Do you live with your sister, Ellen? Yes, I do. What's your place like? It's nice. It's got two bedrooms, a big one and a small one. That's great. Yes, but I've got the small one. Oh. Page 59. Three, let's listen. Task one, these people are describing rooms in their apartments. Listen and check the correct picture. One, does the kitchen have everything you need, like a stove and a refrigerator? It's got a stove, but it doesn't have a refrigerator. I need to buy one. Two, you don't have a bed in your bedroom? No bed. Just a TV. I sleep on a mattress on the floor. Really? Three. We don't have much furniture yet. We don't even have a sofa in the living room. Hey, I've got one I can sell you. Really? Great. Four. The bathroom is very small. Just a shower and a toilet. You can come and take a bath at my place anytime. Thanks. I probably will. Page 59. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 60. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their new apartments. What do they already have? Check the correct answers. 1. Becky. The bookshelf looks really good in the living room, and the TV is just fine. When I find a stereo, I'm going to put it in the bookshelf. I don't have a stereo now because I want to find a cheap one. I'm going to check out the sales next week. I've got a dinner table, but I still need a sofa. Now I have to sit at the dinner table to watch TV. My living room is small, so I want a small sofa. 2. Paul If you have an old bookshelf you aren't using, I'd be really happy to buy it. I haven't been able to find one that is the right size. All the ones I looked at were too big. Right now there are books all over the floor but I managed to pick up a really good TV and stereo at a yard sale last weekend. I still need to find a dinner table. All the ones I looked at in the stores were too expensive. 3. Sarah I was thinking about getting a bookshelf, but I don't have many books yet, so I guess I can wait. I was lucky. I got a really cheap used TV the other day. It only cost $50. And it works really well. It's nice to have something to watch. 
Right now, I don't have enough money to buy a stereo. The dinner table is very nice and big enough for six people. I bought a cheap sofa, too. It's really comfortable. 4. Sam The bookshelf is good, though it's probably a little too big for the living room. I need a TV, but I'm waiting for the new models. I have a good stereo, so that's good. However, I still haven't bought a dinner table. I saw a great one last week. The sales clerk said that they're having a big sale next week, so I'm waiting for that. For now, I'm eating my meals while sitting on the sofa. Page 60. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 16. Movies. Page 62. 2. Let's listen. These people are talking about movies. What kinds of movies do they like? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. What kind of movies do you like, Sue? Let me see. Well, I really like science fiction and action movies. Do you? How about horror movies? Oh, I can't stand them. They're usually really dumb. 2. Do you like movies, Bob? Sure. What kind? Well, I like horror movies the best. I don't know why, but I really enjoy them. Hmm. Do you like westerns, too? Not really. Three. What kind of movies do you like, Andrew? My favorite movies are action movies. I also like science fiction. <laughs> do you like comedies? Yeah, I like comedies, too. Four. What kind of movies do you like, Tina? Mmm, I love westerns, but they don't make many good ones these days. That's true. How about horror movies? I don't like them very much. Me neither. Page 63. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about movies. Check the kind of movie they describe. 1. It's one of the funniest movies I've seen. It's about this weird family that goes on a European vacation, but it's a vacation where everything goes wrong. First, they lose all their luggage, then they end up in the wrong city by mistake. After that, someone thinks they are bank robbers, and there's this crazy car chase. If you want a good laugh, you should see it. Yeah, I've had a busy week. It sounds like the kind of movie I need to see. 2. Oh, it's one of those movies that's full of car chases and fights and people jumping out of airplanes and stuff. The special effects are pretty good, and it's really exciting, especially when these two guys fight it out standing on the roof of a 50-story building. Of course, the bad guy falls off the roof in the end. Sounds good. I like those kinds of movies. 3. If you like Julia Roberts, you'll love this movie. She's a nurse who works in a big hospital. She meets this patient she's looking after, and slowly they fall in love and finally get married. Hmm. Actually, I'm not a big fan of romances, so I don't think it's something I would like. 4. Hey, let me tell you about the movie. It's about this guy who goes into the hospital for an operation, and by mistake, they give him the wrong kind of medicine. Every night when it gets dark, he turns into a kind of half-man, half-animal, and starts killing people. Yuck! I hate those kinds of movies. I don't think I'll bother seeing it. Thanks, anyway. 5. It's kind of interesting. It's about people who travel in a time machine. They can choose which century they want to visit, so they decide to visit some famous times in history. They also see what the future is going to be like. Hey, that sounds interesting. I like movies like that. Page 63. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. 
Listen again. Do you think the second speaker will see the movie or not? Check the correct answer. Page 64. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about movies they have seen. Check what they liked about each movie. 1. What's that new movie like? Is it a drama? Kind of. This volcano suddenly comes up out of the ocean in San Francisco, so this family is trying to get away from it. It's a good story, though. Pretty scary and very realistic. Are the special effects any good? They're great. Does it have any famous actors in it? Not really. They really should have had better actors. The two stars are pretty bad, but the music is great. 2. So tell me about that new movie you went to on Saturday. What's it all about? It's about these bank robbers in Kansas and how the police are trying to hunt them down. It's pretty exciting from the moment the movie starts right till the end. Are there a lot of special effects? Yeah, there are a lot of big explosions. They were terrific. Who's in the movie? A couple of new actors that I've never seen before. They were both pretty good, especially the guy. Sounds like a great movie. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like was the music. They have this very loud, funky music all the way through. It was pretty annoying. 3. What was the movie like? Well, it's supposed to be an adventure story. Some explorers in Africa discover this new kind of animal, a really huge ape that they want to bring back to America. Sounds interesting. Yeah, the story was good, but the special effects were awful. The ape didn't look very realistic at all. It looked like a toy or something. And the two main actors were pretty awful. So it's not worth seeing? No. But by the soundtrack, the music was excellent. 4. Is that movie you saw any good? Yeah, fantastic. It's about a robbery, right? Yeah, it's a great story about these art thieves in London who want to steal some famous paintings from a museum. It ends with a fantastic helicopter chase all over London. There are some unbelievable special effects. Really? I should see it. Who's in it? A couple of British actors I never saw before. They're fantastic. There are some nice songs in the movie, too. Great! Page 64. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Where does each story take place? Write the correct letter. This is the end of Compact Disc 2. Basic Tactics for Listening, 2nd Edition, by Jack C. Richards. Published and copyright, Oxford University Press, 2003. Compact Disc 3. Unit 17, The Weather, page 66. 2. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these weather reports and check the weather for each city. 1. And here is today's weather forecast for the international traveler. Let's start with Beijing. It will be a cold day in Beijing today and windy. The low will be zero and the high will be six degrees. 2. Mexico City will be warm and wet with a low of 23 degrees centigrade and a high of 28. 3. Tokyo is expecting cloudy weather with heavy rain. The low will be 4 degrees and the high 12. 4. New York is going to have a windy day. It will be very cold with a low of minus 10 and a high of 0. 5. 
In Taipei, it will be cloudy, wet, and hot today. The low will be 20 degrees, and the high will be 30. Page 66. 2. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Write the temperatures. Page 67. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. These people are asking about the weather. What will they wear or take with them? Listen and check the correct picture. 1. Are you going out? Yes, later. What's the weather like outside? Not very nice. Cloudy and windy. I think it's going to rain later. Oh, really? It was sunny this morning. 2. Let's go out for a walk. It's so nice and sunny. Yes, it is. Not a cloud in the sky. Just let me put this on. 3. Are you going out in this snow? Yes. I have to go downtown. Well, wear something warm. It's really cold outside. 4. Is it cold outside? Not really. It's raining a little, but it's still nice. 5. It's really hot and humid today. It sure is. It must be at least 95 degrees out there. I think I'll go to the pool for a swim. 6. Oh, look. It's snowing. Great. Let's get our things and have a snowball fight. No way. It's too cold for me. Come on. There's no wind. It'll be nice. Page 67. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the answer that does not describe the weather now. Page 68. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. These people are talking about the weather. What is it like now? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. How's the weather? The temperature is going down and it's turned very windy. I think it's going to rain a lot tonight. 2. How is the weather now? It's much warmer now than it was this morning, and the wind has stopped, too. I think I'll go out for a walk. 3. Is it nice outside? It was nice when I got up this morning, but now the sky is very dark. I think it's going to rain. 4. What's it like outside? It's getting very windy now. I don't think it's a good idea to go out. I think we're going to have a bad storm. 5. Is it a nice day today? It's much nicer now. It was so cold and windy this morning, but it's really nice outside now. And it's getting warmer, too. 6. What's it like outside today? It was cold and wet earlier, but now it stopped raining and the sun is coming out. 7. What's the weather like? It was terrible this morning when I woke up. Very hot and humid. I'm glad it's getting cooler now. 8. Is it still snowing? It sure is. We're going to have a really bad snowstorm. Let's not go out today. Page 68. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Is the weather getting better or worse? Check the correct answer. Unit 18, Shopping, page 70. 2. Let's listen. People are talking as they shop. Listen and number the pictures. 1. I think these are too big. Do you have a smaller pair? Yes, we do. What size are those? These are nine and a half. Let me find a smaller pair. Um, much smaller.
too. How much is this? It's $399. 399 that's very expensive. It does look very nice on you. Bob, what do you think? Very nice, but how much? It's only $399. $399? You must be kidding. Three. Oh, I haven't read this. Is it good? I think so. Is it a mystery? Well, actually, I haven't read it, but I think so. Just what I need. I'll take it. Four. Are these fresh? Yes, they are. They look delicious. Why don't you try one? Really? OK. Mmm. These are good. Five. I think these are fine. They'll be great for the beach. What do you think? Yes, but don't you think they're a little small? Six. Can I play this one? I'd like to listen to it before I buy it. Yes, let me play that for you. I think you'll like it. Page 71. Three. Let's listen. Task one. Customers are talking to salespeople in a store. Do the customers make a purchase? Listen and check the correct answer. One. Could I help you with anything today, ma'am? Well, I really like this blouse. Do you have it in another design? Yes, we do. Great. I'll take it then. Two. Do you need any help, sir? Yes, actually I do. These are a small and they're too tight. Do you have a medium? Yes. Great. I'll take them. Three. These are the most beautiful watches in the store. They really are nice. How much is this one? It's $2,500. Would you like to buy it? No, thanks. It's too expensive for me. Four. Need any help this morning? No, I'm just looking around for some gift ideas. Thanks. Five. Those are really nice dresses. Yes, they certainly are. I love the design. Do you have one in a size 12? Yes, we do. Would you like to take it? Yes, please. Six. Do you need any help? Yes. I want to buy a shirt for my husband. Do you have anything in cotton? Yes, we do. Look at these. They're perfect. I'll buy the gray one. Seven. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can I help you find anything? Oh, I'm not sure what I want. I'll just look around for a while, thanks. Eight. May I help you with anything, or are you just looking? I'd like these green gym shorts, please. Do you have them in a large? I'm afraid we don't. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Page 71. Three. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do you think the clerk says next? Circle the correct answer. Page 72. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. These people are asking about items in a store. Listen and check the item they talk about. 1. Can I try on that shirt, please? This one? No, not the one with the short sleeves. The other one. Here you are. Thanks. Can this be machine washed, by the way? No, it's silk, so you should dry clean it. 
It's not a good idea to wash it by hand or machine wash it. 2. I'd like to buy some envelopes. Which ones? These big ones? No, those are too big. Do you have any smaller ones? How about these? Yes, they look like a better size. Can they be used for airmail letters? No, these are meant for regular mail. 3. Can I see that watch, please? The one with the narrow band? No, the one with the wide band. Is this a man's watch? I'm looking for a gift for my girlfriend. Actually, anyone can wear it. It's not just for a man. Hmm, it's nice. 4. I love that tie. I'm not crazy about stripes myself. No, no, the blue and orange one. Oh, I don't like that either. It's kind of fun. It's for my brother's birthday. He likes things that are a little different. 5. Can I see that blouse? The one without the pockets? No, the other one. Here you are. What fabric is this? Is it cotton? I think it's a linen and cotton blend. 6. I'd like to get some apples. How about these big ones? I don't think they are very sweet. The smaller ones are usually sweeter. Okay, let's get some of these small ones. Page 72. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Unit 19. Using the telephone. Page 74. 2. Let's listen. Which statement about each telephone call is true? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hello? Hello? Joe? No. Is this 793... 5141? One. No, it isn't. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, sorry. 2. Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Sandy, please? She's busy right now. Can you call back? Oh, sure. 3. Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Brian? Sorry, who? Brian. What number did you want? 321-9645. This is 321-6949. Oh, sorry. 4. Hello? Hello. Is Sylvia there? Sorry, she's not in right now. Oh, well, this is Rod. Can I leave a message? Okay. Five. Hello? Hello, is Mrs. Brown there, please? Yes, may I ask who's calling? Yes, this is Donna Simpson. Just a moment, please. Six. Hello? Hello, can I speak to Tony, please? Sure, hold on and I'll get him. Page 75. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Read these telephone messages. Then listen and correct the mistakes in each message. 1. Hello. Hello, can I speak to Anne, please? Sorry, she's not in right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. My name's Mary Brown. Mary Brown? Yes, and my number is 914-6520. Did you say 6520? That's right. Could you ask Anne to call me back tonight? Okay, I'll give her the message. Thanks. You're welcome. 
two. Hello? Hello. I'd like to speak to John, please. Oh, John's not back from school yet. Can I take a message? Um, yes, please. My name is Ellen. E-L-L-E-N? That's right. And my number is 614-5533. 614-5533. Please tell John I'll meet him tomorrow at 12 o'clock at the bookstore. At the bookstore. Okay, I'll tell him. Three. Hello? Hello. Is Peter there, please? He's gone out for the evening. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Joan calling. Yes, Jean, what's the message? No, it's Joan. J-O-A-N. Please tell him the English exam will be on Tuesday in room 214. English exam, Tuesday, room 214. I'll tell him. Thank you. Four. Hello? Hello, this is John. Oh, hi, John. Is Patrick there? He's here, but he's sleeping. He won't get up until morning. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Tell him that tomorrow's party is at 7.30 at the Plaza Hotel. Okay. Let's see. John called. Oh, John, how do you spell your name again? Is it J-O-N? No, it's J-O-H-N. Okay. John called. Tomorrow's party, 7.30, Plaza Hotel. Got it. He'll be there. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. Page 75. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct information. Page 76. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to each conversation. What is each call about? Circle the correct answer. 1. Hello. Hi, Jenny. This is David. How are things? Pretty good, thanks. Listen. I was wondering if you're doing anything on Sunday. No, I don't think so. Great. Would you like to see a movie with me? Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Thanks. Two. Hello. Hi, Tony. This is Bob. Hi, Bob. What's up? Oh, nothing much. But I have a favor to ask. Would it be okay for me to borrow your stereo on Sunday? Mine isn't working very well, and I have some new CDs I'd like to listen to. Um, well, okay, I guess that's all right. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Who is that? Oh, it was Bob. He wants to borrow my stereo again. Not again. Three. Hello. Hi, John. This is Rita. Hi. How's it going? Well, okay, but I'm afraid I have to cancel our date. Remember, we were going to see a play together? Yeah. I've already bought the tickets. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I have to drive my dad to the airport. Oh, well. I'll see if I can get someone else to go with me. Yeah. Sorry about that. Four. Hello? Hello, David. This is Paul. Oh, hi. Listen, you know we're supposed to meet at six tonight for dinner? Yeah. Is there a problem? No, but can we meet at seven o'clock instead? I think I'm going to be late. No problem. Actually, that's better for me, too. Great. See you at 7 o'clock. 5. Hi, Joan. I know it's late, but I wanted to call and apologize to you. 
Well, I was wondering why you didn't meet me for dinner. I am so sorry, but my husband called me at work and told me that he was not feeling well, so I had to go home and take care of him. I was so busy, I forgot to call you. Well, I understand your problem, but you really should have called. 6. Hi, Howard. How are you doing? Oh, Becky. I'm doing pretty good. I'm leaving for my big vacation to Europe this Saturday. What? You are? Yeah. Why? Well, you promised me that you would help me move into my new apartment this Saturday. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Well, don't worry. My plane leaves at night. I can still help you in the morning, I guess. Oh, good. Thanks. Sure. Page 76. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Is each person pleased or not pleased after getting the call? Check the correct answer. Unit 20. Describing Things. Page 78. 2. Let's listen. These people are describing items they left in a taxi. Listen and check the correct picture. 1. Hello, City Taxi. Yes, I left a briefcase in a taxi coming back from the airport. Can you describe it? Yes, it's black leather with the initials PWD on it. Hello, City Taxi. Hello. Has anyone turned in a lady's handbag? I left one in a taxi about an hour ago. Can you describe it? Yes, it's a small blue and white striped bag with a long red strap. Three. Hello. Is this City Taxi? Yes, it is. I'm calling about a wallet. I think I left it in a taxi this morning. It's a black wallet. It had all my credit cards in it. Oh, dear. Four. Hello, City Taxi. Hello. I left a pair of glasses in a taxi this morning. Sunglasses? Black frames with initials on them? No. No, they're regular glasses. They were in a brown leather case. I can't see a thing without them. Sorry, they're not here. Page 79. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are describing these items. Listen and number the pictures. 1. I wear it instead of sunglasses because sunglasses make me look so stupid. I always wear it when it's sunny outside. If I don't wear it, the sun hurts my eyes. It's not too good on windy days, though. 2. It's excellent for work because it's pretty big and I can get all my business papers in it. It's not one of those cheap-looking plastic ones. It's made of real leather. 3. I use it to put my things in when I play sports. It's pretty big, so I can get all my clothes and my running shoes into it. Four. It's an expensive one, but I use it a lot because it's very wet here in the fall. I love the colors, too. People can easily find me in a crowd when I'm using it. Five. It's great when you're on a trip somewhere, especially when you're taking a flight because you can take it on board the aircraft. It's not so big, so you can put it in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you. It's also got wheels and a handle that you can pull out. 6. They're very comfortable for jogging or walking. That's good because I jog and walk a lot. But they're really old. I've had them for about three years. I hate the color, but I'll use them until I can afford a new pair. Page 79. 3. 
Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Why does each person like the item? Circle the correct information. Page 80. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about items they lost. Listen and check the item each person describes. 1. It's a brown leather one. I keep all my money and my credit cards in it. I usually keep it in my back pocket. It probably fell out when I was getting off the bus. I hope I get it back because it also has my ID card in it, and that's very important. 2. I'm always losing them or putting them down and forgetting where I put them. I think I was wearing them when I was on the bus. Then I stopped for a cup of coffee at a coffee shop. I think I took them off then because I don't need them when I read, and I was reading a magazine. Yes, maybe that's where they are. 3. I'm sure I had them when I left school because I remember putting them in my purse. I'm sure I had them when I came home or I couldn't have driven the car or opened the front door. So that means they're somewhere inside the house. 4. I'm sure I used it to pay the bill at the restaurant when I had lunch there. After that, I went to the department store and I think I used it when I bought my jacket. I'm sure that's the last time I used it, so it's probably there. 5. I usually keep it at home in a drawer in my desk because I only use it when I travel abroad. But it's not there, so I wonder where I put it. Oh, maybe I left it at the office when I came back from my trip to France. I think that's where it is, because I went straight from the airport to my office. 6. I thought it was in my briefcase. I usually put it there when I get one from the newsstand and then read it when I get home. Now I remember. I was on the subway. I took it out to read the sports section. I'm sure I left it there. Page 80. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Where was each item lost? Circle the correct answer. Unit 21. Directions. Page 82. 2. Let's listen. People are giving directions. Listen and check the correct map. 1. Excuse me, where's the post office? The post office? Go straight for two blocks and then turn left. It's on the left. Up this street, two blocks and left? That's correct. Two. Can I help you? I'm looking for the bank. Well, take a right at the first corner, and it's on your right. Okay, thanks. Three. Can you help me? I'm looking for a hotel. Okay. Go straight up two blocks and turn right at the light. You'll see a hotel on your right. Thanks. You're welcome. Four. Excuse me, is there a bookstore around here? Yes. Take the first street on the left. Go through the next intersection. You'll see the bookstore on the right. You can't miss it. Page 83. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Look at the map and listen to the directions. Write the number of each place on the map as you listen. 1. Excuse me, 
Is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. Go straight up 3rd Street for two blocks and turn right on Pine Street. The bank is on the right. 2. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Peking restaurant. Oh, sure. I know where it is. It's one of my favorite restaurants. Go left here on King Street, then turn right onto 2nd Street. Walk up 2nd Street for a block. It's on your left on the corner of Ford and 2nd. 3. I'm trying to find a supermarket. A supermarket? Okay. Go left down King and then go up 2nd Street for two blocks. It's on the left on the corner of Pine and 2nd. Thanks. 4. How can I get to the post office? Oh, it's not far from here. Go up 3rd Street and turn right on Ford. Walk down Ford and you'll see it on your right, on the corner of Ford and 4th. 5. I'm looking for the tourist office. Okay, uh, go up 3rd Street and turn left on Ford. It's in the first big building you see on your left. 6. Can you tell me how to get to the art museum? The art museum? Sure. Go up 3rd Street for two blocks, and then turn left on Pine Street. Go to the end of the block. The museum is on your left, on the corner of 2nd and Pine Street. Page 83. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Complete the statements for each set of directions. Page 84. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are giving directions to their homes. Number the directions in the correct order. 1. So, when you come out of the subway, look for a tall glass building. That's a hotel. Walk past that for two blocks, and you'll see a small street on the right. That's my street. There's a grocery store on the corner. Go down the street, and my place is the fourth house on the left. Maybe bring some CDs with you, because I don't have any dance music for the party. 2. My place is fairly easy to find. Get off the bus across from the supermarket. When you get to the supermarket, could you pick up some snacks? Then walk north for two blocks. You'll see a footbridge. Cross that footbridge, and you'll see a small street when you get to the other side. Go down the street, and on the corner, you'll see an apartment building. That's my place. 3. My apartment building is near the river. When you come out of the subway, walk towards the river, and you'll see an intersection. Go through the intersection and take the first street on the left. Go down the street until you see a supermarket. My house is right next to it. If you can, could you bring some fruit to go with dinner? 4. I live in an apartment building close to the high school. Get off the bus across from the school and walk north for about four blocks. You'll see a gas station on your left. Turn right just past the gas station and go down the street until you see a church. My building is across from the church. Don't forget to bring your tennis racket. Page 84. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What should each person bring? Circle the correct answer. <music> Unit 22. People we know. Page 86. 2. Let's listen. These people are talking about new friends. Listen and circle the best word or phrase to describe each person. 1. So tell me about your new friend Cindy. What's she like? She's really neat. She's great to be with because she makes me laugh all the time. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's always telling jokes. 2. What's your friend Pauline like? She's nice. Is she shy? Shy? You must be kidding. 
She tells her whole life story to everyone she meets. 3. Do you know Tom Brown? Oh, sure. I like Tom. Yeah, me too. He makes me laugh. He's always doing crazy things. Yeah, I know. 4. Have you spoken to the new guy in our class, Paul? Yes, I have. What's he like? Boy, he's really interesting. He speaks six languages and was the top student at his last school. Oh, great. No, you'll like him. He's really friendly and easy to talk to. 5. Do you and your boyfriend go out a lot, Suzanne? Oh, sure. He loves going out and meeting people. We go to parties all the time. He sounds like a lot of fun. Of course. That's why he's my boyfriend. 6. Look what my friend Mary gave me for my birthday. Isn't this a beautiful blouse? That's really nice. And she gave me a great present for my birthday, too. She loves giving things to people. Yeah, she does. And she doesn't expect anything in return. Page 87. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Are the people in each conversation similar or different? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Mr. Grant is really funny, isn't he? He loves telling jokes, and he's so easygoing. I know. Then there's Mrs. Grant. She never seems to smile. I wonder why she's so serious all the time. 2. Where are Bobby and his brother today? I think they've skipped class again. Really? They're always doing that. Yeah. They aren't serious about studying, that's for sure. All they like to do is sit at home and play computer games. 3. What are your new neighbors like? Mr. and Mrs. Roberts? Well, they seem nice. I've spoken to Mrs. Roberts several times. She's very easy to talk to. But I haven't spoken much to her husband. He's kind of shy and not very talkative. 4. Have you met Wendy's new boyfriend? Yeah, I like him. Me too. I think he's perfect for Wendy. He sure is. They're so sociable. They both love partying, and they're both a little crazy at times. Mm, that's for sure. 5. How do you like the new teachers? Well, Mr. Williams is very easygoing, and he's really smart, too. Yeah, I know. And what about Miss Vaughn? She's not as easy to get to know. She's not as easygoing as Mr. Williams. She seems very serious. Yeah, I think so, too. 6. What's your brother's wife like? She's just like my brother, serious and hardworking. She's at the office every night until around 9, and so is he. They sound like the perfect couple. Page 87. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What do you think is true about each person? Circle the correct answer. Page 88. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Mary is telling Anne about people at her school. What does she like or not like about each person? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, Anne. There's a guy in my Spanish class who's really cool. He's really friendly and easy to talk to. He just always seems happy. Oh, really? He must have a lot of friends. Yes, I think he does. He tells really funny jokes all the time, too. I'm always laughing in class. Man, he sounds great. Well, he is, but he forgets his book every day. Then he asks to share mine. I hate that. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I always forget my book, too. I'd love to meet him. Why don't you introduce us sometime? 2. There's this new girl in class named Rosie. She always looks like she's in a bad mood. I don't know if she's just very shy or what. Really? Yeah, when someone tells a really funny joke, we all laugh, but she doesn't seem to think it's funny. No way. But she is very good at music. She always practices the piano after school. That's nice. But I don't think I could get along with her, because laughing and having fun are important to me. 
Three. There's this guy who sits in front of me on the bus sometimes. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there and talks to himself. It's kind of weird. Oh man, really? Yeah. He likes to make people laugh, though. He's always making funny faces and making animal noises and things like that. Sometimes he's really funny. That does sound funny. But you know, he always chews gum really loudly. I really hate that. Me too. Four. There's a really cute guy from Canada on the basketball team. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he's really outgoing. Very friendly too. Tell me more. Well, it's difficult to get him to laugh. He doesn't seem to enjoy any jokes. I guess he's pretty serious, but he's very good looking. Hmm, sounds cute. Do you know if he has a girlfriend? I'm sure he has many. He always asks a new girl out on a date every weekend. I don't like guys like that. Yeah, but as long as he's cute, I don't mind. Page eighty-eight, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Does Anne want to know each person? Check the correct answer. <music> Unit twenty-three. Places. Page ninety. Two. Let's listen. Do the people like the cities they live in? Listen and check the correct answer. One. How do you like where you're living? Oh, I love it. There's so much to do here, and I have a lot of friends here too. Two. What's your city like? Well, the good thing is there are a lot of things to do here. There are good theaters and restaurants. The trouble is, it's getting very polluted, so it's not as nice as it used to be. Three. Do you enjoy where you're living? Well, I enjoy a lot about it. The city has a very nice climate. It's never too hot or too cold, and it's a safe place to live. Four. What's it like to live in this city? Well, it's very noisy and crowded. And the pollution is getting really bad, and I think we have one of the worst transportation systems in the world. I'd love to live somewhere else. Five. How is it here anyway? Is this a nice place to live? Oh, I'm really glad we moved here. The air is fresh, and the people are very friendly. Rents are pretty reasonable, and it's a very safe city too. That's so important. Also, it's close to the sea, so it's great in the summer. Six. Do you enjoy living here? Some things are okay. The restaurants are pretty good, and the subway system is pretty good too. But it's very old and not very clean. The weather also isn't that great. It's very hot and humid in the summer, and pretty cold in the winter. But in general, it's not too bad. Page ninety-one, three. Let's listen. Task one. Listen to people talking about cities. What is each city like? Check the correct answer. One. So tell me about Tokyo. What's it like? I love it. There are so many great things to do. I'm busy all the time. Two. Do you like living here? Well, it's okay. One thing I do like is that there's very little noise. People don't walk down the street with loud radios or anything. It's pretty nice. Three. Do you like it here? It's okay, but it's awfully crowded, and the air is so dirty. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking about moving. Four. What's it like living in New York? Oh, it's really a great city, but you have to pay a fortune for everything. Five. Is Auckland a very big city? Is it crowded? Not really. 
It's really quite small. It's never very crowded or noisy. In fact, it's like a small town in many ways. 6. So what's San Francisco like? I hear it's very scenic. Yes, it is. The Golden Gate Bridge is great any time of year. The parks and the ocean are beautiful, too. It really is a very lovely city. 7. What's your hometown like? Is it a nice place to live? It's great, especially for families with children. It's pretty and quiet, and it isn't dangerous at all. 8. Is Osaka a big place? Sure. That's why I like it. Lots of people, lots of nightclubs and discos. I don't like small cities. Page 91. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle what each person says about each place. Page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are comparing two cities. Listen and circle the city each person prefers. 1. New York has great museums, and so does Washington. But Washington feels more serious because the government is there, so it isn't as exciting as New York. Washington is more beautiful, for sure, and the restaurants are cheaper there. But you know, I love theater, and New York has the best. Washington is okay, but I love New York. 2. Los Angeles is a huge place. You need a car to get around. San Francisco is more beautiful, and it's a great place for a weekend, but I get bored there after a few days. I enjoy the fact that in Los Angeles, everything moves really fast. I love living here. 3. Hong Kong may be more beautiful than Singapore because it's got that fantastic harbor, but I like Singapore better. It's smaller, so I think it's more comfortable. It's easy to get around, and everything is very clean. Hong Kong is pretty polluted, and it's always very crowded. 4. Melbourne is smaller than Sydney. It has a lot of lovely old buildings and great restaurants. Sydney is more exciting and probably more beautiful, but I think it's too busy and too expensive. Melbourne prices are better, and it's a more relaxing place. That's why I prefer Melbourne. Page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Which city do the words describe? Check the correct answer. <music> Unit 24. Health. Page 94. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about health problems. Listen and number the pictures. 1. What happened to your foot, Joanne? Oh, I hurt it when I was playing soccer. Wow. Can you walk on it? Yes, but it's really difficult. 2. What happened to you? Oh, I didn't have my glasses on, so I walked into a door. No. It's true. Isn't it crazy? Now I have a splitting headache. 3. Did you cut yourself? Yes, I was cooking and I cut myself with a knife. You should be more careful. I know, and now it's difficult for me to eat because I'm left-handed. 4. How did you do that? I fell down playing basketball. I put out my arm to stop myself and this is what happened. Is it broken? Yes. 5. How's your back? Terrible. Why don't you lie down and rest? Would you like a massage? Great idea. Thanks. Six. Hey, what happened to your ear? Huh? What's wrong with your ear? Sorry, I can't hear you. I hurt my ear at the gym. Page 95. Three. Let's listen. Task one. Listen to people talking about health problems. 
What is each person's problem? Write the correct letter. 1. Rick I have an awful backache. I was lifting heavy weights at the gym yesterday, and I think I must have pulled a muscle. If it doesn't get better soon, I'll have to see the doctor. 2. Judy I was hiking up a mountain yesterday, and I slipped and twisted my ankle as we were going down a steep path. It's so painful, I can hardly walk. I bandaged it, but it still hurts. If it isn't better tomorrow, I'll go to the doctor. 3. Nancy I flew back from Australia last week, and I think I caught the flu from someone on the plane. The only time I get the flu is after a long flight. I've been taking pills for it, but I still feel sick. 4. Tom I went out to dinner a few days ago with a friend. We went to a very good seafood restaurant, but I think there was something wrong with the fish because my stomach really started hurting. I had to go to the hospital to get some medicine for it because it hurt so much. It's much better now. 5. Renee I was working in the garden last week and I cut my leg. It was a pretty deep cut, so I had to go to the doctor. She put some stitches in it. They'll be in for another week. Page 95. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. When did the problem start? Circle the correct answer. Page 96. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people describing a health problem to a friend. What phrase completes each statement? Circle the correct answer. 1. I've really been having trouble sleeping lately. That's too bad. Yeah, I go to bed, but I often can't fall asleep. Do you ever have that problem? Yeah, I sometimes do too, especially if I'm feeling very worried or stressed out. So what do you do for it? Do you take sleeping pills? I don't like the idea of sleeping pills, so I usually get up and watch TV or read until I feel tired. Then I go back to bed. Why don't you try it? Yeah, I will. 2. I've been feeling very tired lately, like I have no energy. Really? I used to have that problem. Oh, yeah? Do you think I should see the doctor? It may not be anything serious. Have you tried taking vitamins? No, I haven't. Taking vitamins always helps me when I'm tired. 3. I've been getting really bad back aches. Is that right? Yeah. Sometimes the pain is so bad I can hardly move. Do you spend a lot of time in front of a computer? Yes, I do. That's probably causing it. I used to get that problem, too. So, did you stop using the computer? No, I didn't need to. But I changed the way I sat, and that made a difference. Here, let me show you. 4. I'm getting a lot of colds this year. Really? Yeah, about once a month. That's too bad. I've been taking vitamin C, but it doesn't help. Well, maybe you should go to the doctor. Maybe you're right. Can you recommend a good one? Page 96. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle what the friend suggests for each problem. This is the end of Compact Disc 3. Basic Tactics for Listening, 2nd Edition, by Jack C. Richards. 
Published in copyright, Oxford University Press, 2003. Student CD. Unit 1. Page 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen. Are the woman's greetings formal or informal? Check the correct answer. 1. I'd like you to meet my friend, David Wilson. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. 2. Hi, let me introduce you. This is your new boss, Susan Jackson. Good morning, Ms. Jackson. 3. Hello? Hello. This is Bob Cruz calling. Good evening, Bob. How are you? 4. Hello. Do you remember me? I'm Michelle Bolton. Hi, Michelle. How's everything? 5. Good afternoon. I'm Charles Smith. I have an appointment at 2 o'clock. Hello, Mr. Smith. Nice to see you again. 6. Good afternoon. I'm John Carter, your new student. Hello, John. 7. Hello? Hi, this is Brian Abrams. I'm returning your call. Hi, Professor Abrams. Thanks for calling. Did you get my homework assignment? 8. Let me introduce you. This is your grandmother's doctor, Ruth Steinberg. Hello, Dr. Steinberg. I'm glad to meet you. I've heard great things about you. Task 2. Listen again. What name does each person use? Circle the correct answer. Unit 2. Page 8. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Some parents are looking for their children in a department store. Listen and write each child's age. 1. It's my little boy. We were looking for some pants for my husband. Now I can't find him. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll find him. How old is he? He's seven. I see. And what color is his hair? It's light brown. Don't worry. We'll find him for you. 2. My little girl was here a minute ago, and now I can't find her. She's probably in the toy section. Can you describe her? Yes. She's five years old. And what color hair does she have? Brown. And it's very curly. All right. Let's go to the toy section and see if she's there. 3. Has anyone seen a young kid? How old, sir? He's 10. He's always getting lost. Drives me crazy. Where did you last see him? Over by the video equipment. What color is his hair? Blonde and pretty long. Too long. 4. Excuse me. I've lost my little boy. We were looking at some microwaves, and he was bored and... Calm down, sir. Can you describe him? Yes. He's eight. Really cute. And what color is his hair? Dark brown. Okay. Let's see where he is. Just sit down and relax. Five. Excuse me. I've lost my daughter. Is she around 13, about average height, with short blonde hair? Why, yes. She's looking for you, over there, in the shoe department. It's a lot. Task 2. Listen again. Which child is being described? Number the pictures. Unit 3. Page 12. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Does the information you hear match the description? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Sonia was very well dressed. She had on a jacket and a long dark blue skirt. She was also wearing a yellow blouse. She wasn't carrying a bag, but she did have a small wallet with her. Oh, and I remember she had nice gold earrings. 
I also remember her shoes. She was wearing black shoes with very high heels. 2. Brian was very casually dressed. He was wearing some really old jeans, you know, the ones with holes in them, with a new wide leather belt and a white t-shirt. He had on some boots, high brown ones. They looked really nice. He also had a red scarf. He usually wears a couple of big rings, but he wasn't wearing any at the party. He was wearing an interesting silver watch, though. 3. Kevin was wearing a yellow shirt and a green tie. I didn't like the tie, but I liked the shirt. He also had on brown pants. He was wearing sneakers with long white socks. Kind of cute, actually. And he had a leather bag over one shoulder. 4. Mrs. Graham looked really good. She had on an interesting long red skirt and a beautiful gold and black jacket. And she had some lovely earrings and a nice necklace. She also had a long pink scarf over one shoulder. She didn't have a bag. She was wearing sandals. Task 2. Listen again. What was each person wearing? Circle the correct answer. Unit 4. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are calling about showtimes for movies. Listen and write the showtimes you hear. 1. Thank you for calling Cinema World. Our box office opens every afternoon at 2.30. Today in Cinema A, we are showing Holiday in Rome, starring Gina Jones. Showtimes are 3.40, 5.45, 7.55, and 10.15. 2. In Cinema B, we are showing Hong Kong Warrior. Showtimes are 4.30, 6.40, 8.30, and 10.45. Don't forget to visit our new coffee bar located next to Cinema B. It's open every day from 2.30 to 10.30. 3. In Cinema C, we are showing Ralph the Rabbit. Showtimes are 3 o'clock, 4.40, 6.30, and 8.15. Also, at 10 o'clock, tonight only, a sneak preview of Crazy Cops, Hollywood's latest comedy action film. 4. In Cinema D, we are showing The Alien from Saturn. Showtimes are 3.20, 5.10, 7.20, and 9.40. Don't forget, our box office closes every evening at 9.55. Task 2. Listen again. Write the times. Unit 5. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their birthdays. Have they had their birthdays yet this year? Check the correct answer. 1. Isn't it your birthday this month, Ted? Hey, it was a month ago. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about it. So did you have a big party or something? No, I had to study because of the exams at school. 2. Have you had your birthday yet, Jill? No. It's in two months. Oh, that's right. So what are you planning to do this time? I'm going to New York with my mom and dad. Hey, fabulous. Three. Have you had your birthday yet, Sue? No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. Don't worry, I won't. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Great, that sounds fun. 4. Is your birthday this month or next month, Brian? I can't remember. Oh, it was a month ago. Really? So how was it? It was okay, but very quiet. I had a family party at home. Oh, that sounds nice. Task 2. Listen again. 
What activity did each person do, or will each person do, for his or her birthday? Circle the correct answer. Unit 6, page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their jobs. Do they like their jobs? Check the correct answer. 1. So how do you like your job, Bill? Well, it was okay at first, but now, after two years, I don't like it. Oh, why is that? It's boring. I do the same thing every day. I'm really sick of it. So why don't you change jobs? I'm well paid. I like the money. Oh, I see. But you should leave if you're not happy. Yeah, maybe I should. 2. Do you like teaching children, Christine? Oh, yes. I love working with kids. They're so much fun. Well, I guess you have the perfect job. Yeah, I like it a lot. There's just one thing I don't like. What's that? The distance to school. It's too far away. It takes me an hour to drive there every day. Wow, that must be awful. It is. But the schools that are near me are not as good. 3. How is your new job going, Anna? Good, thanks. I really like it. What do you like best about it? I think it's the people I work with. They are so nice. People make all the difference in a job, don't they? They sure do. The only trouble is I have to travel a lot. I'm away from home for about two weeks every month. Yeah, that can be difficult. It is. I hope I won't have to travel so much next year. 4. Do you enjoy being a salesperson, Nancy? Yes, I do like it. I get to meet so many people. Is it hard work? Yes, it can be. I don't like the long hours. I'm always really tired when I'm home at night. That's too bad. Why don't you quit? Because I think my boss is great to work for. 5. How long have you been working in a restaurant, Martin? For more than five years. Wow, you must really enjoy it. Oh, no. I don't enjoy it at all. It's hard work and pretty tiring, too. I'm on my feet all night. Oh, I see. But the tips are great. I really should find a better job soon, though. Task 2. Listen again. What do the people like or dislike about their jobs? Check the correct answer. Unit 7, page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about how they spend their free time. Check the correct information about each person. 1. Bill. I think exercise is so important to good health. There is a really good sports club near my school. During the week, I play tennis there for an hour before school starts. On weekends, I usually work out at the gym near my house for a few hours. I also play baseball with some friends from school. It's so much fun. 2. Liz I don't like jogging or doing anything too energetic. I prefer taking walks. I like to take a short walk every day through the park across from my house. Sometimes my boyfriend goes with me. It's nice to talk and look at the flowers and trees. On Sunday, I like to swim, but for only about a half hour. I sleep the rest of the weekend. 3. Victor I am a big football fan, but I only watch it on TV. I can't stand playing it. There are great games to watch on the weekend. I also enjoy watching tennis. I'd like to learn someday, but I don't like to sweat. I love chess and often play with my younger sister. She's really good at it and usually wins. On the weekends, I love to play video games with some of my friends. 4. Maria I just love to exercise. I like many different sports. Let's see. I like swimming a lot. 
I get up very early, around 5 a.m., and swim for two hours from Monday to Friday. I also enjoy basketball and play with a group of friends from work every Tuesday night. And I've also started playing golf this year. Before playing, I go jogging to warm up. 5. David I enjoy exercise, but I don't do it as much as I should. I meet a friend every Wednesday and we play tennis. I'm not a very good player, but it's fun and we usually play for an hour. On weekends, I like to bicycle in our neighborhood. I guess I spend an hour or two doing that. Oh, and I love baseball, but only watching it while sitting on the couch eating popcorn. Task 2. Listen again. Match the people on the left with the activities on the right. Unit 8, page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Tony is helping Cindy clean up the house. Where should he put the items? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Do these magazines go on the bookshelf? Yes. Put them on the bookshelf, please. On the top is fine. Should I put them beside the dictionary? Yes, next to the dictionary will be fine. I'd like to read these magazines later. They look interesting. 2. What about the remote control for the TV? Put it beside the TV. There's a magazine there, the TV program guide. Should I put it on the TV program guide? That's fine. And remind me to get a new battery for the remote when we go downtown. Okay. 3. These look like your car keys. Where do you usually keep them? They're my extra apartment keys, actually. Just put them in one of the drawers in the desk. The top two drawers are already full of stuff, so I'll put them in the bottom drawer for you. They'll be inside an empty box. Okay. 4. Do you want me to put this baseball cap away? Yeah, just put it behind the door. Where? Should I hang it on the doorknob? No, on the hook behind the door. It will be fine there, thanks. I didn't know you wore a baseball cap. It's not mine, it's my brother's. Five. Do you need these glasses? Not right now. I only use them for reading. Do you see the case they go in? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Leave them on the coffee table next to those sheets of paper. Okay. 6. There's a belt lying on the floor. Oh, yes. That's my brother's. He leaves his clothes everywhere. It drives me crazy. Should I put it somewhere? Leave it on the chair. He always sits there. Okay. The chair next to the window? That's right. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 9, page 36. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about themselves and other family members. Which family member is the speaker most similar to? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Wen Ping Both of my parents are taller than me. My dad is pretty tall, but my brother is even taller than my dad. Together they look like a basketball team. My sister and I are the short ones in the family. 2. Michael My brother isn't interested in music at all. He's into cars, like my dad, but I'm not interested in cars. I play the guitar and the piano. I guess I love music because of my mom. She sings beautifully. She plays the piano really well, too. 3. Justin I love animals. I have a dog and I keep a couple of parrots in a big cage in my room. I love taking photographs of wild birds when I'm in the countryside. My dad and I often go away for the weekend, and we have a great time bird watching. My sister thinks I'm crazy. When my sister has free time, she loves to play cards.
I can't stand card games. 4. Susan I enjoy reading. I read a lot of books and I love going to the library. My dad likes outdoor things. He's really into sports and swimming, and he always tells me I should get more interested in sports, but Mom tells me that reading is the best way to learn. She always gives me books that she's been reading. 5. Robert I'm very interested in computers. I'm teaching myself new computer programs, and I have a lot of great software. My brother and I spend all our free time in computer stores and on the Internet. My sister is more interested in the arts. She likes music, and she loves to read. She hates computers. 6. Beth I love traveling. My mother and I go to a different place every year. Both of us love to learn new things about cultures. My father never goes with us because he hates flying. My older sister is in college so she stays home and studies while we're away. Sometimes I wish my sister and my father would travel with us because I miss them. Task 2. Listen again. How is each family member different from the speaker? Write the letter. Unit 10, page 40. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these invitations. Does the person accept or refuse? Check the correct answer. 1. Bobby, would you like to go out for dinner Thursday? Thursday? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to meet my sister for dinner. Oh, well, some other time then. Sure. 2. Melissa. Would you like to see a movie on Saturday? That sounds great. What time? At 9.30? All right. 3. Hey, Jack. Let's go for coffee after class on Monday. Oh, sorry. I have to go downtown. I have an appointment. Oh, okay. 4. Betty, do you want to come over to my house for dinner Wednesday? Thanks. I'd love to. What time? Around 6.30. Okay. See you then. 5. Hey, Ralph. Let's play tennis on Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon? I can't. I'm going away for the weekend. Maybe some other time? Sure. 6. Say, Jill, I'm going shopping Friday night. I need a new dress. Want to come? Friday night? Okay. I'm not doing anything special. Good. Let's go after work. Fine. Task 2. Listen again. What is each invitation for? Circle the correct answer. Unit 11, page 44. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about prices in the U.S. and prices in their own country. Check the correct answer. 1. I could never buy a car at home because we pay a very high tax on cars. Only rich people can really afford to buy a car at home. Here in the U.S., I drive a nice new car and I can easily afford it. You don't have to be rich to own a car, which is great. 2. At home, it only costs about $200 a month to rent a nice apartment. That's what I used to pay for a four-room apartment in a good neighborhood. Here in the U.S., I pay about twice that for a much smaller apartment, and it's not in a very nice neighborhood. 3. I bought a lot of clothes in my country before I moved to the U.S. because everyone told me how expensive American clothing is. I was kind of surprised that I could get nice clothes here for very reasonable prices. In fact, it costs me less for clothes here than it used to cost me at home. 
Four. I come from a small country, and not a lot of people travel by plane because it costs more than most people can afford. But the U.S. is such a big country, and the population is large, so you have a lot of people traveling by plane. That's what keeps the prices down. That means I can afford to fly here, and I do it all the time. I couldn't do that at home. Five. Most people send their children to private schools at home because the public schools are not very good. You have to pay a lot to do that, so it's a big expense for many people. Public schools are better here and cheaper than in my country. People don't have to spend a lot on tuition, so most people send their children to public schools. Six. Here in the U.S., you need to have health insurance because it costs a lot to see a doctor or to enter a hospital. At home, you don't have to pay much to see a doctor or go to a hospital because most of the clinics and hospitals are run by the government. Task two. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit twelve, page forty-eight, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about meals they had at a restaurant. Did they like their meals? Listen and check the correct answer. One. I went to a new steak restaurant last night that opened near my house. I love trying new places. To start the meal, I had an interesting appetizer. It was some kind of seafood with a spicy sauce on it. Mmm. The main dish, of course, was steak. It was very small and a little tough, though. However, the vegetables were great, nice and fresh, but not too oily. The final thing was the best: the dessert. It was apple pie with a lot of ice cream on it. I know that I shouldn't eat so many sweets, but it was delicious. Two. Have you ever tried that seafood restaurant on Main Street? You should. It's great. I go there often. In fact, I went there last weekend. To begin, I had a salad. It was nice and fresh with a great house dressing. My main dish was a fish that I had never tried. I really enjoyed the spices it was cooked in. The vegetables were good. Very fresh and tasty. For dessert, I had chocolate cake. It's usually very delicious, but this time it was much too sweet. I couldn't eat more than two bites. That's okay though, because I am on a diet. Three. My new girlfriend took me to a Chinese restaurant in her neighborhood the other night. It was pretty good. First, we had some egg rolls. They were the best I had tasted. Then we ordered the beef and pepper stir fry. It came in a very interesting sauce, spicy, but not too spicy. We also ordered the steamed vegetables, but they were awful. They were really too soft. The dessert was a big bowl of fresh fruit, some of the fruit I had never seen. It was fantastic, and so was my date. Four. For lunch, my coworker and I went to a nice little French restaurant near our office. He didn't feel like eating much, so he just had a small salad. I had a large meal though. First, I had the onion soup, but it was much too salty. For my main dish, I had a piece of pork. It was too dry and had no taste. The vegetables were perfect though: broccoli and peas. Those are my favorites. Finally. I had a large bowl of chocolate mousse. It was just like the chocolate mousse I had in France during my last vacation, very creamy and delicious. I think I'll have it next time too. Task two. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit thirteen.
page 52. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Two people are talking. Does the second speaker know the information, or is it new information? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, I was just talking to Cindy. Did you know she's had a really good job in a computer company for a long time? Really? Yeah, but she's decided to change jobs. She wants to become an elementary school teacher. Wow, that's a surprise. 2. I'm really excited about the rock concert next week. I'm glad I got my tickets early, because I heard that all the tickets have been sold. I heard that too. I'm looking forward to the concert. It should be great. 3. I got a really cool present for my birthday. Oh, yeah? What is it? My parents gave me a dog, a little puppy. She's so cute. I've always wanted a dog. That's awesome. So what are you going to call her? Spot. 4. Terry's not here tonight. I hear she's sick. Yeah, I spoke to her dad this morning, and he said she has a really bad case of the flu. She's had it for about a week. Sometimes it takes a long time to get over the flu. Terry has been sick a couple of times this year. I know. It's too bad. 5. That guy over there has just moved here from Canada. I was talking to him a while ago. He's really interesting. He's an actor, and he's already appeared in a couple of movies. Yeah, so he was telling me. He mentioned the names of his movies. I haven't seen any of them. Maybe one day he'll be a big star. 6. There's a really interesting exhibition at the museum this month. It's all about Walt Disney and the story of how he started making cartoons. Is that right? I haven't been to the museum for a long time. You should go and take a look at it. I'm sure you'll find it really interesting. I think I will. Thanks for letting me know. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Unit 14, page 56. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their vacations. Listen and number the pictures. 1. Is this you? Yes, it is. Wow, it looks really fun but hard. How do you stay on them? In the beginning, you don't. You fall off all the time, but you learn pretty quickly. I had a wonderful time. 2. What are you doing here? My friends and I went camping. It was really great, but it got very cold at night. This is how we kept warm. 3. What did you do? Oh, I went sightseeing and visited all the museums. Oh, that sounds interesting. Actually, it was pretty boring. I hate museums. Four. Oh, this must have been a wonderful vacation. Yes, it was fantastic. The weather was perfect, and the water was so clear. Wow, look at you. You're all red. Yes, I got a terrible sunburn. Five. What are you doing here? Oh, I took a cooking course in Italy. Terrific. So what can you make now? Spaghetti and meatballs. Six. Did you go all the way in this? Yes, we did. It was really very comfortable to travel in. We slept in it, too. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 15. Page 60. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about their new apartments. What do they already have? Check the correct answers. 1. Becky. The bookshelf looks really good in the living room, and the TV is just fine. When I find a stereo, I'm going to put it in the bookshelf. 
I don't have a stereo now because I want to find a cheap one. I'm going to check out the sales next week. I've got a dinner table, but I still need a sofa. Now I have to sit at the dinner table to watch TV. My living room is small, so I want a small sofa. 2. Paul If you have an old bookshelf you aren't using, I'd be really happy to buy it. I haven't been able to find one that is the right size. All the ones I looked at were too big. Right now there are books all over the floor, but I managed to pick up a really good TV and stereo at a yard sale last weekend. I still need to find a dinner table. All the ones I looked at in the stores were too expensive. 3. Sarah I was thinking about getting a bookshelf, but I don't have many books yet, so I guess I can wait. I was lucky. I got a really cheap used TV the other day. It only cost $50, and it works really well. It's nice to have something to watch. Right now, I don't have enough money to buy a stereo. The dinner table is very nice and big enough for six people. I bought a cheap sofa, too. It's really comfortable. 4. Sam The bookshelf is good, though it's probably a little big for the living room. I need a TV, but I'm waiting for the new models. I have a good stereo, so that's good. However, I still haven't bought a dinner table. I saw a great one last week. The sales clerk said that they're having a big sale next week, so I'm waiting for that. For now, I'm eating my meals while sitting on the sofa. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 16. Page 64. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people talking about movies they have seen. Check what they liked about each movie. 1. What's that new movie like? Is it a drama? Kind of. This volcano suddenly comes up out of the ocean in San Francisco, so this family is trying to get away from it. It's a good story, though. Pretty scary and very realistic. Are the special effects any good? They're great. Does it have any famous actors in it? Not really. They really should have had better actors. The two stars are pretty bad, but the music is great. 2. So tell me about that new movie you went to on Saturday. What's it all about? It's about these bank robbers in Kansas and how the police are trying to hunt them down. It's pretty exciting from the moment the movie starts right till the end. Are there a lot of special effects? Yeah, there are a lot of big explosions. They were terrific. Who's in the movie? A couple of new actors that I've never seen before. They were both pretty good, especially the guy. Sounds like a great movie. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like was the music. They have this very loud, funky music all the way through. It was pretty annoying. 3. What was the movie like? Well, it's supposed to be an adventure story. Some explorers in Africa discover this new kind of animal, a really huge ape that they want to bring back to America. Sounds interesting. Yeah, the story was good, but the special effects were awful. The ape didn't look very realistic at all. It looked like a toy or something. And the two main actors were pretty awful. Oh, it's not worth seeing? No. But by the soundtrack, the music was excellent. 4. Is that movie you saw any good? Yeah, fantastic. It's about a robbery, right? Yeah, it's a great story about these art thieves in London who want to steal some famous paintings from a museum. It ends with a fantastic helicopter chase all over London. There are some unbelievable special effects. Really? I should see it. Who's in it? A couple of British actors I never saw before. They're fantastic. There are some nice songs in the movie, too. Great! Task 2. Listen again. Where does each story take place? Write the correct letter. 
Unit 17, page 68. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. These people are talking about the weather. What is it like now? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. How's the weather? The temperature is going down and it's turned very windy. I think it's going to rain a lot tonight. 2. How is the weather now? It's much warmer now than it was this morning, and the wind has stopped too. I think I'll go out for a walk. 3. Is it nice outside? It was nice when I got up this morning, but now the sky is very dark. I think it's going to rain. 4. What's it like outside? It's getting very windy now. I don't think it's a good idea to go out. I think we're going to have a bad storm. 5. Is it a nice day today? It's much nicer now. It was so cold and windy this morning, but it's really nice outside now. And it's getting warmer, too. 6. What's it like outside today? It was cold and wet earlier, but now it stopped raining and the sun is coming out. 7. What's the weather like? It was terrible this morning when I woke up. Very hot and humid. I'm glad it's getting cooler now. 8. Is it still snowing? It sure is. We're going to have a really bad snowstorm. Let's not go out today. Task 2. Listen again. Is the weather getting better or worse? Check the correct answer. Unit 18, page 72. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. These people are asking about items in a store. Listen and check the item they talk about. 1. Can I try on that shirt, please? This one? No, not the one with the short sleeves. The other one. Here you are. Thanks. Can this be machine washed, by the way? No, it's silk, so you should dry clean it. It's not a good idea to wash it by hand or machine wash it. 2. I'd like to buy some envelopes. Which ones? These big ones? No, those are too big. Do you have any smaller ones? How about these? Yes, they look like a better size. Can they be used for airmail letters? No, these are meant for regular mail. 3. Can I see that watch, please? The one with the narrow band? No, the one with the wide band. Is this a man's watch? I'm looking for a gift for my girlfriend. Actually, anyone can wear it. It's not just for a man. Hmm, it's nice. 4. I love that tie. I'm not crazy about stripes myself. No, no, the blue and orange one. Oh, I don't like that either. It's kind of fun. It's for my brother's birthday. He likes things that are a little different. 5. Can I see that blouse? The one without the pockets? No, the other one. Here you are. What fabric is this? Is it cotton? I think it's a linen and cotton blend. 6. I'd like to get some apples. How about these big ones? I don't think they are very sweet. The smaller ones are usually sweeter. Okay. Let's get some of these small ones. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Unit 19, page 76. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to each conversation. What is each call about? Circle the correct answer. 1. Hello? Hi, Jenny. This is David. How are things? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, I was wondering if you're doing anything on Sunday. 
No, I don't think so. Great. Would you like to see a movie with me? Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Thanks. Two. Hello? Hi, Tony. This is Bob. Hi, Bob. What's up? Oh, nothing much. But I have a favor to ask. Would it be okay for me to borrow your stereo on Sunday? Mine isn't working very well, and I have some new CDs I'd like to listen to. Um, well, okay, I guess that's all right. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Who is that? Oh, it was Bob. He wants to borrow my stereo again. Not again. Three. Hello? Hi, John. This is Rita. Hi. How's it going? Well, okay. But I'm afraid I have to cancel our date. Remember? We were going to see a play together? Yeah. I've already bought the tickets. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I have to drive my dad to the airport. Oh, well. I'll see if I can get someone else to go with me. Yeah. Sorry about that. Four. Hello? Hello, David. This is Paul. Oh, hi. Listen, you know we're supposed to meet at 6 tonight for dinner? Yeah. Is there a problem? No, but can we meet at 7 o'clock instead? I think I'm going to be late. No problem. Actually, that's better for me, too. Great. See you at 7 o'clock. Five. Hi, Joan. I know it's late, but I wanted to call and apologize to you. Well, I was wondering why you didn't meet me for dinner. I am so sorry, but my husband called me at work and told me that he was not feeling well, so I had to go home and take care of him. I was so busy, I forgot to call you. Well, I understand your problem, but you really should have called. Six. Hi, Howard. How are you doing? Oh, Becky. I'm doing pretty good. I'm leaving for my big vacation to Europe this Saturday. What? You are? Yeah. Why? Well, you promised me that you would help me move into my new apartment this Saturday. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Well, don't worry. My plane leaves at night. I can still help you in the morning, I guess. Oh, good. Thanks. Sure. Task 2. Listen again. Is each person pleased or not pleased after getting the call? Check the correct answer. Unit 20, page 80. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about items they lost. Listen and check the item each person describes. 1. It's a brown leather one. I keep all my money and my credit cards in it. I usually keep it in my back pocket. It probably fell out when I was getting off the bus. I hope I get it back because it also has my ID card in it, and that's very important. 2. I'm always losing them or putting them down and forgetting where I put them. I think I was wearing them when I was on the bus. Then I stopped for a cup of coffee at a coffee shop. I think I took them off then because I don't need them when I read and I was reading a magazine. Yes, maybe that's where they are. Three. I'm sure I had them when I left school because I remember putting them in my purse. I'm sure I had them when I came home or I couldn't have driven the car or opened the front door. So that means they're somewhere inside the house. Four. I'm sure I used it to pay the bill at the restaurant when I had lunch there. After that, I went to the department store and 
I think I used it when I bought my jacket. I'm sure that's the last time I used it, so it's probably there. 5. I usually keep it at home in a drawer in my desk because I only use it when I travel abroad. But it's not there, so I wonder where I put it. Oh, maybe I left it at the office when I came back from my trip to France. I think that's where it is, because I went from the airport to my office. 6. I thought it was in my briefcase. I usually put it there when I get one from the newsstand and then read it when I get home. Now I remember. I was on the subway. I took it out to read the sports section. I'm sure I left it there. Task 2. Listen again. Where was each item lost? Circle the correct answer. Unit 21, page 84. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are giving directions to their homes. Number the directions in the correct order. 1. So, when you come out of the subway, look for a tall glass building. That's a hotel. Walk past that for two blocks, and you'll see a small street on the right. That's my street. There's a grocery store on the corner. Go down the street, and my place is the fourth house on the left. Maybe bring some CDs with you, because I don't have any dance music for the party. 2. My place is fairly easy to find. Get off the bus across from the supermarket. When you get to the supermarket, could you pick up some snacks? Then walk north for two blocks. You'll see a footbridge. Cross that footbridge, and you'll see a small street when you get to the other side. Go down the street, and on the corner, you'll see an apartment building. That's my place. 3. My apartment building is near the river. When you come out of the subway, walk towards the river and you'll see an intersection. Go through the intersection and take the first street on the left. Go down the street until you see a supermarket. My house is right next to it. If you can, could you bring some fruit to go with dinner? 4. I live in an apartment building close to the high school. Get off the bus across from the school and walk north for about four blocks. You'll see a gas station on your left. Turn right just past the gas station and go down the street until you see a church. My building is across from the church. Don't forget to bring your tennis racket. Tattoo. Listen again. What should each person bring? Circle the correct answer. Unit 22. Page 88. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Mary is telling Anne about people at her school. What does she like or not like about each person? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, Anne. There's a guy in my Spanish class who's really cool. He's really friendly and easy to talk to. He just always seems happy. Oh, really? He must have a lot of friends. Yes, I think he does. He tells really funny jokes all the time, too. I'm always laughing in class. Man, he sounds great. Well, he is, but he forgets his book every day. Then he asks to share mine. I hate that. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I always forget my book, too. I'd love to meet him. Why don't you introduce us sometime? 2. There's this new girl in class named Rosie. She always looks like she's in a bad mood. I don't know if she's just very shy or what. Really? Yeah, when someone tells a really funny joke, we all laugh, but she doesn't seem to think it's funny. No way. But she is very good at music. She always practices the piano after school. That's nice. But I don't think I could get along with her, because laughing and having fun are important to me. 3. There's this guy who sits in front of me on the bus sometimes. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there and talks to himself. 
It's kind of weird. Oh man, really? Yeah. He likes to make people laugh, though. He's always making funny faces and making animal noises and things like that. Sometimes he's really funny. That does sound funny. You know, he always chews gum really loudly. I really hate that. Me too. Four. There's a really cute guy from Canada on the basketball team. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And he's really outgoing. Very friendly, too. Tell me more. Well, it's difficult to get him to laugh. He doesn't seem to enjoy any jokes. I guess he's pretty serious, but he's very good looking. Hmm, sounds cute. Do you know if he has a girlfriend? I'm sure he has many. He always asks a new girl out on a date every weekend. I don't like guys like that. Yeah, but as long as he's cute, I don't mind. Task 2. Listen again. Does Anne want to know each person? Check the correct answer. Unit 23, page 92, 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are comparing two cities. Listen and circle the city each person prefers. 1. New York has great museums, and so does Washington. But Washington feels more serious because the government is there, so it isn't as exciting as New York. Washington is more beautiful, for sure, and the restaurants are cheaper there. But you know, I love theater, and New York has the best. Washington is okay, but I love New York. 2. Los Angeles is a huge place. You need a car to get around. San Francisco is more beautiful, and it's a great place for a weekend, but I get bored there after a few days. I enjoy the fact that in Los Angeles, everything moves really fast. I love living here. 3. Hong Kong may be more beautiful than Singapore because it's got that fantastic harbor, but I like Singapore better. It's smaller, so I think it's more comfortable. It's easy to get around, and everything is very clean. Hong Kong is pretty polluted, and it's always very crowded. 4. Melbourne is smaller than Sydney. It has a lot of lovely old buildings and great restaurants. Sydney is more exciting and probably more beautiful, but I think it's too busy and too expensive. Melbourne prices are better, and it's a more relaxing place. That's why I prefer Melbourne. Task 2. Listen again. Which city do the words describe? Check the correct answer. Unit 24, page 96, 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to people describing a health problem to a friend. What phrase completes each statement? Circle the correct answer. 1. I've really been having trouble sleeping lately. That's too bad. Yeah, I go to bed, but I often can't fall asleep. Do you ever have that problem? Yeah, I sometimes do too, especially if I'm feeling very worried or stressed out. So what do you do for it? Do you take sleeping pills? I don't like the idea of sleeping pills, so I usually get up and watch TV or read until I feel tired. Then I go back to bed. Why don't you try it? Yeah, I will. 2. I've been feeling very tired lately, like I have no energy. Really? I used to have that problem. Oh, yeah? Do you think I should see the doctor? It may not be anything serious. Have you tried taking vitamins? No, I haven't. Taking vitamins always helps me when I'm tired. 3. I've been getting really bad back aches. Is that right? Yeah. Sometimes the pain is so bad I can hardly move. Do you spend a lot of time in front of a computer? Yes, I do. That's probably causing it. I used to get that problem too. 
So, did you stop using the computer? No, I didn't need to. But I changed the way I sat, and that made a difference. Here, let me show you. Four. I'm getting a lot of colds this year. Really? Yeah, about once a month. That's too bad. I've been taking vitamin C, but it doesn't help. Well, maybe you should go to the doctor. Maybe you're right. Can you recommend a good one? Task 2. Listen again. Circle what the friend suggests for each problem. Basic Tactics for Listening, 2nd Edition, Test Booklet, by Sue Brio Altcorn and Jack C. Richards. Published in copyright, Oxford University Press, 2004. Unit 1 Test 1. Let's listen. Linda is listening to messages on her voicemail. Who is speaking? Listen and circle the correct name. One. Linda, this is Mike Smith. That's Mike Smith. M-I-K-E. I'm returning your call. Two. Hello, Linda. This is Jane Dennison calling from the bookstore. That's D-E-N-N-I-S-O-N. -N -N. The book you ordered is here. Three. Hi, my name is Helena Williams. That's Helena. H-E-L-E-N-A. I'm calling about your ad in the newspaper. 4. Hi, Linda. My name is Kate Anderson. That's A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. -E you don't know me, but my neighbor told me you play tennis. Want to play sometime? 5. Linda, hi. It's your neighbor, Tim Jones. That's Tim, T-I-M. I've lost my dog. If you see him, can you call me? Two. Let's listen. Listen to the phone conversations and complete the message pads. One. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to James, please? Sorry, he's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. Please ask him to call Don. Did you say Tom? No, it's Don. D-O-N. D-O-N. Got it. And what's your phone number? It's 698-8319. 698-8319. I'll tell him to call you. Two. Hello? Hi, is Mary there? Sorry, she's not home now. Oh, can you tell her Kathy called? Sure, Kathy. Is that Kathy with a K? Right. K-A-T-H-Y. K-A-T-H-Y. Okay. Now, what's your phone number? It's 477-3316. 477-3316. And should she call you back? No, that's okay. I'll call again later. Unit 2 Test 1. Let's listen. A grandmother is showing her friend a photograph of her grandchildren. What is she describing? Listen and check the correct answer. One. Here's a picture of my five grandchildren. Aren't they darling? Here's James. He's 16 now, 
and he's the oldest. Two. His brother, Billy, has the most beautiful dark brown hair. It's really long in this picture. Three. And here are the three little girls. Jessica is getting so tall. I think she's over 160 centimeters already. Four. Catherine has the most beautiful blonde hair. It's very straight and looks like gold. Five. And then there's little Melissa. She just had a birthday last week. She's three years old now. Have you ever seen such beautiful children? Two. Let's listen. People are describing other people at a party. What does each person look like? Listen and write the correct letter. One. If you see Alicia, let me know. You'll recognize her right away because she has beautiful long red hair. How long? Just about down to her knees. Two. Which person is your friend Sally? She's the one over there with the short curly hair. Three. Did you see Amy yet? She looks just like her sister Sally, but she's tall, about 180 centimeters. Four. I don't know about you, but I think that guy over there is really attractive. You mean Thomas, the old guy with glasses? He's wearing glasses, but he doesn't look that old. I'd say he's about 38 or 39. Five. Did you see that gorgeous guy who just came in? You mean Stefano? Yeah. How old is he? About 18, I think. Wow, he's so handsome. Unit 3 Test 1. Let's listen. Monica is describing people in her class. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. David is over there. He's always very well dressed. Today he's wearing a blue suit with a red tie. 2. Next to him is Bob. He never wears a suit. Today, he's wearing his windbreaker over a white T-shirt with jeans and sneakers. Three. Then there's Roberta. She's wearing jeans, too, but with a black T-shirt and a jacket. Four. Sylvia has on a really cute blue dress with blue sandals. Five. And Tess is wearing bright red pants and a white blouse, and she's carrying a red and white shoulder bag. She sure looks stylish today. Two. Let's listen. People are trying on clothes in a department store. What does each person need? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Do you like the blouse? No, not really. It's too big for me. Oh, yes, I see. I'll find you the same blouse in a smaller size. Two. How do the jeans fit? They're too tight. Everyone is wearing them loose now. Could you bring me a looser pair? Three. How do you like the pants? I think they're a little too long. What do you think? Hmm. Well, you could always wear high heels. No? Okay, why don't you try these? They're a little shorter. Four. So, how do you like the sneakers? They're a little too big, I think. Hmm, okay. 
Let me get you a half size smaller. Five. Well, sir, how do you like the jacket? I like the color, but it doesn't fit well. It's too loose across the shoulders. Yes, it is a little loose. Just one moment. I'll find one that's the same color, but tighter. Unit 4 Test 1. Let's listen. People are asking others for the time. Write the time you hear. 1. Could you tell me what time it is, please? It's 12 noon. 2. Excuse me, I forgot my watch today. What time is it? It's 5.30. 3. What time is it now? A quarter to four. 4. I think I'm late for the train. What time is it? It's 10.02. You just missed it. 5. Do you know what time it is? It's 8.50. 2. Let's listen. Listen to the radio announcements. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. 1. This is WFMT, Chicago's classical music station, at 89.9 FM. Coming up at 4.05 is National News. But first, let's listen to Beethoven's Fourth Piano Concerto. 2. Hey, classic rock fans, you're tuned to WXRT at 103.5 FM on your FM dial. At 1.30 we have the news, but taking us up to it, let's listen to a classic by the Rolling Stones. 3. You are listening to KLCC from Eugene, Oregon. We're speaking with Dr. Marsha Baker for the next hour. Following the doctor's interview, stay tuned for news at 2.55. 4. This is KOLD, your oldie station with news every hour on the hour. Stay tuned for our next newscast at 6 o'clock. Until then, here's a great one by Bill Haley and the Comets. 5. You're listening to Talk Radio 780 AM. It's 117. Time for news. Unit 5 Test. 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their vacations. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. We're so glad you got here in time for our New Year's Eve party. When did you arrive? I arrived late last night. And how long will you be staying? Just a few days. I have to leave on January 3rd to get back to work. 2. Did you just get here? No, we've been here a week already. We flew into Paris on August 22nd, and we leave on the 31st. I can't believe how time flies. 3. When did you arrive in Moscow, madam? Just today. I left Chicago on the 2nd and arrived here on the 3rd. And how long will you stay? I leave a week from today, on the 10th. 4. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of Orlando. Really? When did you arrive? Just a day ago, on the 13th. And I can't wait for tomorrow, the 15th, when we leave. 5. When did you arrive on the island? June 2nd, and we are having so much fun. I'm glad to hear that. How long are you staying? Three whole months. We'll have to leave September 1st because we have to be back in school on the 2nd. 2. Let's listen. Ellen is taking messages for her roommate Maria. Listen and write the dates and times you hear. 
one. Hello? Hi. Can I speak with Maria, please? She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. Please tell her that we're having a party for Louisa next Friday, April 2nd at 8.30. Okay. I'll tell her. Two. Hello? Hi, Ellen. This is Maria's mom. Could you remind her that tomorrow is her sister's birthday and we're having a surprise party at her sister's apartment at 7.30? That's tomorrow night, March 28th at 7.30? Yes. Thanks, Ellen. Three. Hello, this is Ellen. This is Dr. Frank's office. Could you tell Maria that her next appointment is on May 6th at 2.45? Okay, that's a quarter to three, right? Yes, 2.45. Thank you. Unit 6 Test 1. Let's listen. The interviewer is asking people about their work. What is each person's job now? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Today we're talking to people about their jobs. What do you do, Tanya? I'm a flight attendant. First, after college, I worked as a nurse. But I've been a flight attendant for eight years now, and I still love my job. 2. How about you, Paul? What do you do? People are surprised when I tell them I'm a nurse. They still think all nurses are women. I might go to medical school someday and become a doctor, but for now, I really like being a nurse and helping the patients. 3. How about you, Elizabeth? People are surprised about my job, too, but I've always loved doing unusual things. I could never be a flight attendant or a nurse. I love to work outdoors and build things, so I became a construction worker. It's hard work, but I enjoy it. 4. Teresa, what do you do? I work in an office. Every day, I go to the same little cubicle and answer the phone, type letters, and make copies for my boss. I think I'll go to college next year and study to become a lawyer. 5. Zach, what do you do? I'm a taxi driver in New York City. It's a hard job, and I wouldn't want to do it forever, but for now, it's great. I hope to become a writer or actor someday, but I'll have to drive a taxi for a little longer. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their jobs. What does each person like about his or her job? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. You have to work really long hours when you're a chef in a busy restaurant. You're on your feet all the time and it's really exhausting. But I love cooking great food for people and I love to eat it too. 2. I think education is really important, and I love working with children. I just wish I had a higher salary. 3. It's tough being a salesperson. You're always traveling, and you don't get to relax much. But you can make a lot of money. That's why I'm still working as a salesperson. 4. Everyone thinks lawyers are just out to make a lot of money. But I like being a lawyer because I like helping people. I wouldn't be spending all this time working if I didn't really love helping people. 5. I always wanted to work in a bookstore. It's true that you don't make much money, and I don't like my boss much. But the great thing about working here is that you get to meet interesting people and you always have something to read. Unit 7 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about sports. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 
1. George Ever since I was a little kid, I loved the water and went swimming all the time. Now that I'm retired, I swim every day, and I feel like a kid again. Swimming is definitely my favorite sport. 2. Mari I love water sports, especially fast ones like windsurfing and water skiing. Swimming and diving are okay, but not as exciting. 3. Bill My favorite sport is soccer. I don't play it anymore, but I watch it almost every day. And I'm not alone. Millions of people all over the world watch soccer every day. 4. Jody. I like to jog. I've gone jogging almost every day for the last three years, but I can't jog now. My knees are bad, and my doctor said I shouldn't jog for two months. 5. Joe. I love playing baseball. It's probably my favorite sport, but just to play, not to watch. If I try to watch baseball on TV, I fall asleep. 2. Let's listen. Listen to a student's report about how young people spend their free time. Check how often people do these activities. Young people in the United States are spending more time doing sports and other activities in their free time. According to a recent survey, the average person takes a walk very often, usually once every day. Soccer is the sport that is growing the most in popularity. Now people play soccer about once a month. More and more people are bicycling also. On the average, young people bicycle once or twice a week. Another common activity is playing video games. Many people like to do this every day. Watching sports on television is very popular too. Most people watch sports once or twice a week. It's not a very good way to get enough exercise though. I hope young people don't forget how important exercise is for good health. Unit 8 Test 1. Let's listen. Matthew moved the furniture in his living room. Where did he move it? Listen and write the correct letter. I was really tired of the way my apartment looked, so last night I moved the furniture in my living room around. First, I moved the sofa to the other side of the room, in front of the windows. Then I put the lamp right behind the sofa so I can use it to read. I moved the bookcase over to the side of the room, next to the door to the bedroom. Next, I put the coffee table in front of the bookcase, so I can put the books I'm reading on it. Finally, I moved the TV from the living room to my bedroom, on top of the dresser. I like where I have my things much better now. 2. Let's listen. Jane can't find her things. Where is each item? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Karen, do you know where that letter is? I have to mail it today. It's on the table. Where on the table? Right there, next to your purse. 2. I know my book was right here beside the computer. What did you do with it? Oh, sorry. I was reading it last night. It's on the sofa. 3. Don't we have any orange juice left? Yes, it's in the refrigerator. I looked in the fridge. Well, look again. It's in there, right behind the milk. 4. Have you seen my gloves? Yes, they're under your coat on the chair in the kitchen. 5. Isn't there a pencil anywhere in this apartment? Yes. Look in the top drawer of the desk. I keep all the pens and pencils in a box in that drawer. Oh. Thanks.
Unit 9 Test 1. Let's listen. A woman is talking about her family members. What is their relationship to her? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. He's my mother's father. 2. She's my sister's daughter. 3. He's my uncle's son. 4. She's my mother's sister. 5. He's my father's son. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their families. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Bill. I'm a middle child. I have two sisters, one older and one younger. 2. Janice. I'm the oldest in my family. I always wanted a sister, but all I got were brothers, three of them. 3. Henry. I have an older brother and three older sisters. I was the baby of the family for a while, but then my younger sister came along. 4. Gabriella. There are all girls in my family, my two younger sisters and me. 5. Stan. I have a big family, and I'm the youngest. It's tough sometimes when you have two older brothers and four older sisters, and they're all angry at you. 10 test 1 let's listen Diane is listening to messages on her voicemail what does each person ask her to do listen and write the correct letter 1 hi Diane it's me Claudio do you want to go dancing on Friday there's a great salsa band playing at the open gate give me a call when you get in okay thanks bye 2. This is George. George Crystal. We met at the concert last week. I was wondering, if you're free this Friday, would you like to go to the symphony? I have two tickets. I'll call you later to talk about it. Goodbye. 3. Hi, Diane. It's Mom. Don't forget, we're going to see your brother in his first play as a professional actor. It's on Friday. Don't be late. 4. Diane? Um, it's me, Michael, your old boyfriend. Well, um, I miss you a lot. How about if we get together Friday and go for a drive or something? Call me when you get in, okay? 5. Hi, Diane. It's Betsy. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? There's a great sale at my favorite department store from Friday to Sunday. If we go Friday, we'll get the best things. I'd love to see you, if you're not too busy. 2. Let's listen. Listen to the conversations. Does each person accept or refuse the invitation? Check the correct answer. 1. Hey, Josh. You want to get together and watch the game on TV tonight? I'd really love to, but I can't. I have a big test tomorrow, and I have to study. Oh, well. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow, after your test. 2. Rachel, are you coming to the class party this weekend? This weekend? I'm pretty busy. I'm working Friday and Saturday all day, and Friday night I have to go visit my grandmother. That's okay. The party isn't until Saturday night, starting around 7 o'clock. Oh, okay. I should be able to make it then. 3. Hi, Jennifer. Are you doing anything tonight? There's a new restaurant I'd like to go to. Actually, I was thinking of going shopping tonight after work. 
Oh, come on. You can go shopping anytime. You're right. What time do you want to meet? Four. Hey, Andrew. Are you busy after work? No. I'm not doing anything. Why? Well, Mark and Jeff and I thought we'd go rollerblading in the park. The weather is perfect. Do you want to come with us? I'd love to, but I hurt my leg playing soccer over the weekend. Oh, sorry to hear that. Maybe next time. Five. What are you going to do this weekend? I don't have any plans. How about you? I'll be playing computer games. Want to come over, Jonah? Sure. When? Oh, anytime Saturday afternoon. You know where to find me. Yeah, in front of the computer, right? Unit 11 Test 1. Let's listen. Susan and Todd are shopping. Do they buy the items? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Look at all these necklaces and earrings. Wow. And they're all on sale. Everything is 50% off. That's great. So these pearl earrings... They were $25, so now they're twelve fifty. Hmm. Thanks anyway. Two. Oh, look, Todd. It's a lamp, just like the one my grandmother wants. Excuse me, how much is this lamp? This one? It's $375. Isn't it gorgeous? $375? That's too expensive. Three. Isn't this hat beautiful? I love this new style. So do I. Here, look at yourself in this mirror. It's perfect for you and only $40. That's a good price. Yes, it's on sale. It's marked down from $50. I'm going to buy it. Four. Look at this beautiful blue rug. It was $20, but now it's only $10. What do you think? It would be perfect for the kitchen. I love it. Let's get it. Five. Look at these old CDs, Todd. They're only $3 each, or four for $10. Wow. Four CDs for only $10? I'll take this one and this one. And I want this one. Two. Let's listen. People are buying things at a store. How much do they spend? Listen and circle the total amount. One. Good morning. How are you doing today? Let's see. Shampoo, five ninety nine. Toothpaste on sale for two fifty nine. And a box of tissues for two nineteen. The big bottle of aspirin is four fifty nine. That's all for today? Okay. Your total is fifteen thirty six. Here's your change. Two. Hello there. Color film is two forty nine a roll, and you have two, four, six rolls. That comes to fourteen ninety four. Out of fifteen, here's your change, six cents. Three. Hello. Getting ready for the new term at school, huh? The pens are one nineteen, and you have three, so that's three fifty-seven. The package of notebooks is four ninety-five, and the computer paper is five sixty. All together, that comes to fourteen twelve. Out of twenty, that's five dollars and eighty-eight cents in change. Four. Hello. Just batteries today, huh? The camera battery is nineteen ninety-five. The flashlight batteries are four forty-nine, and the cell phone battery is thirteen sixty-nine. Thirty-eight thirteen is your total, and here's your change: a dollar eighty-seven. 
five. Hi, what do you have there? A big box of chocolates for twenty-four ninety-five. A beautiful bouquet of flowers for nine ninety-nine, and a card for one ninety-nine. What's the special occasion? Oh, it's a secret, huh? Okay. That'll be thirty-six ninety-three. Here's your change, three dollars and seven cents. Have a great day. Unit Twelve Test One. Let's listen. A man and a woman are ordering dinner at a restaurant. What does each person order? Listen and check the correct answer. Good evening. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll have a salad. Then I'll have the fish. What vegetables do you have? Tonight we have spinach, peas, or potatoes. I'll have spinach. No, wait a minute. I'll have the peas. And to drink, I'd like some tea. Okay. And you, sir? I think I'll start with a bowl of broccoli soup. What would you like for your main dish? A steak, please, medium rare. And I'd like potatoes with it. Anything to drink? I'd like water, please. Okay, I'll be right back with your soup and salad. Two. Let's listen. People are talking about their dinners. What did they think of the food? Listen and write the correct letter. One. Did you enjoy your dinner, Lisa? Well, the salad was very fresh, but the peas were too soft. I think they overcooked them. Two. How was your steak, John? It was okay, but it was tough. I think they overcooked it. It wasn't medium rare, more like well done. Oh, that's too bad. Three. Did you like the soup, Carolyn? Oh yes, it was excellent. Very creamy and not too salty. Four. How did you like the salad, Brad? I thought it was too oily. There was too much dressing on it. Five. Did you like the chocolate cake, Joanne? It was rich and moist, just like chocolate cake is supposed to be. Unit Thirteen Test One. Let's listen. People are greeting someone or ending a conversation. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. One, Stuart. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Two, Susan. It's been nice talking to you. Three, Julie. See you later. Four, Deborah. It's been great seeing you again. Five, Ron. I haven't seen you for a long time. Two, let's listen. People are talking at a party. What is each person talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. It's not going very well. My boss is always angry, and I have to work overtime almost every day. Two. We went to Hawaii. The weather was so beautiful, and we were having so much fun that we didn't want to come back home. Three. I heard from Vicky that Laura is moving to Chicago. She's marrying Ben. Can you believe it? Four. I hate hard rock. I wish they'd turn it down or play something else. Five. 
My son just started high school. He wants to be on the football team this year. My daughter is still in junior high school. She's taking piano lessons. Unit 14 test. 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their vacations. What did each person do? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Hi, Sally. How was your vacation? It was great. I traveled all over France visiting my relatives. I didn't know you had relatives in France. Yes, my mother's side of the family is French. 2. Did you have a good vacation, Josh? It was fantastic. What did you do? I went skiing in Austria. It was unbelievable. 3. Hello, Letitia. I heard you just came back from vacation. Where did you go? I went to all the museums in New York City. Really? Every single one? Well, every one that I had time for. I was only there for a week. 4. Hi, Frida. I haven't seen you in a long time. That's because I went to Brazil for a holiday. Really? How long were you there? A whole month, and I was on the beaches most of the time. 5. Hey, Jerry. Where did you go on vacation? Nowhere. Really? Yeah. I just stayed home and watched videos. Unit 14 test. 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their vacations. What did each person do? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Hi, Sally. How was your vacation? It was great. I traveled all over France visiting my relatives. I didn't know you had relatives in France. Yes, my mother's side of the family is French. 2. Did you have a good vacation, Josh? It was fantastic. What did you do? I went skiing in Austria. It was unbelievable. 3. Hello, Letitia. I heard you just came back from vacation. Where did you go? I went to all the museums in New York City. Really? Every single one? Well, every one that I had time for. I was only there for a week. 4. Hi, Frida. I haven't seen you in a long time. That's because I went to Brazil for a holiday. Really? How long were you there? A whole month, and I was on the beaches most of the time. 5. Hey, Jerry. Where did you go on vacation? Nowhere. Really? Yeah. I just stayed home and watched videos. Unit 15 Test 1. Let's listen. People are describing their apartments. What room is each person talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. It's really difficult to cook in here. The sink is too close to the stove, and the refrigerator is really small. 2. This room is great because there's a big window over the bed. I love sleeping in here. When I wake up, the room is so sunny. 3. This is my favorite room. I have a big sofa where I can sit and watch TV. And look, I found this great coffee table on sale last week. 4. Here is where I eat all my meals. The dinner table was pretty expensive, but it's big enough for six people. Why don't you come over for dinner sometime? 5. The best thing about this room is the tub. It's new and it's big, so I can take long, hot baths. The shower is pretty nice, too. 
Two, let's listen. People are talking about things they need for their apartments. What does each person plan to buy? Listen and write the correct letter. One, Lindsay. I bought a great table and some chairs on sale. I'd like to get a microwave, but I need to find a small one because the room is so small. Two, Carlos. The bookcase is really nice. My parents gave it to me. When I save some money, I'm going to get a desk. I've got a really nice lamp to put on it. Three, Kristen. I got a TV at the mall today and a coffee table too. Now I need a nice stereo, a silver one like the TV. I'm still looking for the right color. Four, Kyle. I've got a lot of nice dishes that my mom gave me, and I found a cheap microwave at the mall. The only thing I don't have is a lamp. It's pretty dark in here. Five, Hannah. I have a lot of great stuff: a microwave, a stove, dishes, and even a nice dinner table. But I still need some chairs. Right now, I eat all my meals standing up. Unit 16 test. One. Let's listen. Samuel is talking about movies. What kind of movie is he describing? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. This movie has everything: mountains, deserts, good guys, bad guys, cowboys, and lots of horses. But save your money and wait for the video. It's not that great. Two. This wonderful movie came from the smash hit that was on Broadway for years. The songs are great and the dancing is incredible. Three. Movies like this have changed in recent years. In the past, they were about monsters from space. Now they're often about strange technology. This one is about a computer that is just like a human being. Four. You all know how this story goes: boy meets girl, they fall in love, they fight and break up, and guess what? They get back together again. Unless you really love this kind of story, stay home and watch TV instead. Five. This movie had a slow start, but by the end, everyone was laughing so hard their sides hurt. The situations are funny and the acting is brilliant. If you're feeling down, go see this movie and you'll feel great. Two, let's listen. People are talking about movies they have seen. What did they not like about the movies? Check the correct answer. One, I thought the story was really exciting and the acting was great. The only thing I really couldn't stand was the soundtrack. I hate modern music. It's so repetitive. Two. The actors were excellent. They were incredible singers and dancers, and the music was great too. But the story was pretty weak. If it hadn't been a musical, I wouldn't have gone to see it. Three. The acting was really awful, but the storyline was great. So was the music. The special effects were fantastic. Four. The story and the acting were terrific. I liked just about everything about the movie, everything except the special effects. They were so old-fashioned that I almost laughed. Five. I really liked the acting in this movie. I guess if it had a weak point, it was the story. Things moved pretty slowly, and I got bored now and then. Unit Seventeen Test One. Let's listen. An announcer is giving weather reports. Are these statements true or false? Listen 
and check the correct answer. 1. Dallas had snow last week, and it continues to be colder than usual. Today it will be cloudy, and the high will only be 6 degrees. The low tonight will be zero. 2. Expect strong winds in Miami today because of a big storm off the coast. The storm will probably bring heavy rainfall of 3 inches or more. The high will be 29 degrees, but it will feel cooler because of the wind. 3. Chicago is under a severe winter storm warning. The city is expected to get 20 centimeters of snow today, with a low temperature of minus 15. Don't go out unless you have to. 4. Phoenix is sunny and hot, as usual, with very dry air coming in from the desert. It may get up to 30 degrees today. 5. There will be a lot of sunshine in Honolulu today. The high temperature will be 26 degrees. It won't be much cooler tonight with a low of 23 degrees and no wind. A great day for camping on the beach. 2. Let's listen. People are speaking about the weather. What will they wear or take with them? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Jose. The sky is getting dark. It looks like it will rain any minute now. I better take this with me. 2. Jacob. The sun is really strong today. today. I'll need this. My face gets sunburned so easily. 3. Megan. It's so hot today. I can't stand it. I'm going down to the go for a swim. 4. Brett. What a beautiful full Sunday for a baseball game. I'll bring these in case my seat is in the sun. 5. Alicia. It's cold out, out but snow, snow is, is so beautiful. I'm going, I'm going, no man. I'll need to dress warmly though. Dress. Unit 18 Test 1. Let's listen. People are in a shopping mall. What store are they in? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Here you are. Try these on. Are you sure these are the right size? I can't get my feet into them. They're much too tight. 2. Well, I work at home. So I want something I can listen to while I'm working on my computer. How about some jazz or soft rock? I've got a lot of rock, and I don't like jazz. What else do you have? 3. It's her birthday. I usually buy her flowers, but this year I want to get her something special. We have some lovely watches. She already has a watch. Do you have any pearl earrings? 4. Do you have this t-shirt in a medium? Yes, and it's available in three colors. I like the black one. Where can I try it on? 5. Excuse me, I'd like a can of that special coffee, but I can't reach the top shelf. Can you help me? Sure. Here you go. 2. Let's listen. Customers are talking to salespeople in a store. Do the customers make a purchase? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. How much are these jeans? They're $89.99. Wow! Almost $100 for a pair of jeans? That's too much. They'll be on sale next week. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll come back then. 2. The black boots are cheaper, but the brown ones are warmer. I think I'll take the brown ones. Will that be cash or credit? Here's my credit card. 3. 
Does this jacket come in large or extra large? Yes, but we're sold out of those sizes. Would you like to try a medium? No, thank you. Four. My girlfriend likes pink, so I think she'll like this sweater. Can she return it if she doesn't like it? Sure. It's no problem. Great. Where do I pay? The cashier is over there. Five. Can I help you? Yes. I can't decide if I like the blue dress or the brown one better. Well, you have beautiful green eyes, so the brown one looks especially nice on you. Yes, I think you're right. I'll take the brown one. Unit 19 Test 1. Let's listen. People are leaving messages. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hi, this is Tracy. Is Pete there? No, he's out for the evening. Can I take a message? No, please just tell him I'll call tomorrow. 2. Hi, this is Danny. Can I speak to Lynette? No, she's doing her homework now. Oh, okay. Can you ask her to call me back? Sure. She'll call you in about an hour. Three. Hi, is Charles there? Yes, but he's in a meeting. Do you know when the meeting finishes? At three. Okay, thanks. I'll call back then. Four. Hello, is Kathy there? No, but she should be back soon. Can I take a message? Sure. Tell her Jan called and ask her to call me back. Okay. I'll tell her. Thank you. Goodbye. Five. Hello. Hi, this is June. Is Laura there? Sorry, she's still at work. Oh, could you tell her we're meeting at the pizza place downtown at 6.30? Okay, I'll tell her. Thanks. Two. Let's listen. Pete is listening to his messages. What should he do? Listen and write the correct letter. One. Hello, Peter. This is Dr. Baker's office. Your appointment is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. See you then. 2. Hi, Pete. It's your sister, Tammy. In case you forgot, it's Mom's birthday today. Give her a call. Bye. 3. Hi, this is Dennis calling for Patty. Uh, I think I have the wrong number. Sorry. Four. This is Dave's Stereo Center. The new stereo system you ordered is here. Come in any time to pick it up. Five. Hello. This is the Acme Collection Agency. You are late with your credit card payments. Please return this call immediately. The number is 1-800-YOU-PAY-NOW. That's 1-800-872-872. 9669 Unit 20 Test 1. Let's listen. Listen. Scribing items they lost. What is each person talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. It's a small leather one. Red leather. There's about $75 in cash in it and all of my credit cards. And my driver's license, too. I hope you can find it. 2. It's one of those long, narrow ones. It has black and yellow stripes and it's made of wool. 
I really need it to keep my neck warm on cold days like this. 3. Have you seen them? They have black frames and dark lenses. They're probably in a yellow leather case. 4. It's a great big one, made tan leather. I had all my school books in it, textbooks and notebooks and everything. And in the outside pocket was my money and all my keys. 5. All my business reports are in it. It's black leather with gold lilas. My initials are on it and it has a lock. Please call me as soon as somebody turns it in. 2. Let listen. Mary has lost a lot of things recently. Where did she lose each item? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. What's the matter? My passport. I can't find it anywhere. When was the last time you used it? Well, I got it out at the airport. Oh no, I left it at the, the airport. 2. Have you seen the book I was reading? I have to return to the library tomorrow. Look on your desk. It's not there. I was reading it at the coffee shop. Oh. Put it. Put a seat beside me. I bet the bet's where it is. Three. I I find find my in. Where where you use it last? I used it to sit to sign at the restaurant restaurant. Oh, you probably left there. Call them up and see if see if they'll have it. Or. Have you seen the newspaper I bought this morning? I really wanted to read it. Did you leave it at work? No, I remember putting it in my bag and bringing it with me on the subway. Oh no, I can't believe I left it on the subway. 5. Now what are you looking for? My gold ring. My grandmother gave it to my mother, and she gave it to me. It's over 50 years old and impossible to replace. When did you wear it last? I wore it to a wedding last weekend. Did you take it off there? No. Oh, wait a minute. I went to the hotel bathroom to fix my hair and I took it off to wash my hands. That's where it is. Unit 21 Test 1. Let's listen. Sarah is talking about the area where she lives. Where are these places located? Listen and write the correct letter. My new apartment is in a very convenient location. It's between a bank and a coffee shop. And just across the street from the coffee shop is a grocery store. Next to the grocery store is a movie theater. The subway is just one block down the street. A block past the subway is my favorite French restaurant called Le Petit Bistro. I'm glad it's so expensive. I might spend all my money eating there every night. 2. Let's listen. People are giving directions. Are the directions correct or incorrect? Listen and check the answer. 1. Is there a bank near here? Yes. Go up Pine Street for three blocks, then turn right at 3rd Avenue. You'll see it next to the supermarket. 2. Do you know where the nearest subway is? Yeah. Walk down this street for about two or three blocks. When you get to King Street, you'll see it on the corner. 3. Excuse me. Where is a good coffee shop? A few blocks away. Just go straight along Main Street for two blocks and turn right on Madison. Go one block and you'll see it on your left. It's called the Coffee Hound. The coffee there is really good. 4. So how far is the museum? Let me check the map. Oh, it's not far from here. We turn right at the next corner and then go straight for five blocks. The museum is on the left. 
5. Where's your office building from here? From here, you take the bus for 12 blocks up Washington Street. You get off at the post office and turn left onto Pine Street. Walk along Pine Street and you'll see it across from the grocery store. Unit 22 Test 1. Let's listen. Martin is talking about his classmates. Listen and circle the best word to describe each person. 1. Paul is so boring. He's always studying, so he never has time to go out to a movie or anything else, and he never laughs. 2. Martha is such a nice person. She's always calm and relaxed. I've never seen her angry or upset. 3. Jim is really incredible. He goes to school full-time, and he also works part-time Monday to Friday and every weekend. Somehow, he still finds time to coach his younger brother's soccer team. 4. I went out with Ellen last night, and she just kept partying and laughing and talking and dancing all night long. I couldn't keep up with her. 5. Jeremy sleeps until noon, and then he gets up and watches TV the rest of the day. He really needs to start studying more, because he's not doing well in school. 2. Let's listen. Listen to Elsie describe people she knows. What is similar or different about these people? Check the correct answer. 1. My new boss, Ms. Harris, is great. She's really funny, much better than Mr. Brown. Remember him? He never told jokes. 2. Do you know Dave? He's nice, but he's really shy. Bill's shy, too, but he's a little easier to talk with. I'd rather have dinner with Bill. 3. My grandparents have been married for 50 years, but they still argue a lot. My grandfather loves to watch a lot of sports on TV, and my grandmother hates to. They argue about that all the time. 4. Chris is really friendly. His girlfriend is, too. Everyone likes her. They're both really outgoing and sociable. 5. Susan and her husband are really serious about their careers. They get to work early every day and stay late. Sometimes they work on weekends, too. Unit 23 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about cities. What does each person like the most? Write the correct letter. 1. Emily I love it here. I only moved here six months ago, and I already have some good friends. The people are great. The summer is a little too hot and humid, and there's not much nightlife. But that's okay. My friends and I are going to have cookouts all year long. 2. Bruce This place is all right for a big city. It has the typical problems like traffic and noise, but there are fantastic restaurants and theaters. The nightlife is what I love. 3. Dolores I love this little town. It's so quiet and clean. I never hear my neighbors, and there are no highways anywhere nearby. I love to just sit and listen to the birds. 4. William It's really wonderful here. It's not too small, and it's really safe. You don't have to lock your doors or anything. Most people just leave their keys in their cars. It's incredible. 5. Connie when I moved to the city, I thought it would be really expensive. Once I got to know it better, I found shops and restaurants that are really cheap. 
It's much less expensive to live here than I thought. 2. Let's listen. Janice is talking about her home state. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Oregon, the state where I grew up, has really changed. There used to be a lot of wide open spaces, and even the cities weren't very big. Now it's getting a lot more crowded. 2. Even though there are more people living in Oregon, there isn't as much pollution. We really value nature, so we take good care of it. Today the state is much cleaner than when I was growing up. 3. Like most places in the U.S., the prices have gone up here, too. When I used to go to dinner, it cost only $5, but now it's 15 or 20 4. The truth is, our restaurants are a lot better than they used to be. We have famous chefs from all over the country opening really wonderful restaurants. 5. There is so much more to do in Oregon than there used to be. We have music and theater and sports activities, and in the summer, people love to go hiking and go to markets and festivals. There is always something to see or do. It's really a great state. You should come visit sometime. Unit 24 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about health problems. What is each person's problem? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. How did you do that? I was water skiing. I guess the boat was going too fast. Anyway, I fell. Does it hurt? Not too much. But I'm having trouble in school because I can't write now. 2. You sound terrible. I feel terrible. It really hurts, and I can't swallow anything. Where did you get it? At work? No, from my niece. I was babysitting her, and she has it too. 3. Why are you walking like that? Because I'm in pain. I pulled a muscle when I was working out at the gym. I can't sit down. It hurts. I think you need an x-ray. 4. When did that happen to your hand? When I was making dinner the other night. I was watching TV and cutting some vegetables. There was this funny show on TV and... I guess my hand slipped. What did you do? I held it under cold water, and then I put this bandage on it. 5. What happened to you? I fell down playing soccer. I was running to kick the ball and I tripped. Can you walk on it? No, it really hurts. 2. Let's listen. People are describing a health problem to a friend. What does the friend suggest? Write the correct letter. 1. I have a terrible headache. You get a lot of headaches. Maybe you should see the doctor. I'll just lie down. You know I don't like going to the doctor. 2. I overdid it today. I have a really bad backache. Let me give you a massage. That always works for me. That sounds wonderful. 3. My cold is getting worse. I'm going home. Why don't you take some vitamin C? That's what I do when I have a bad cold. Good idea. I'll buy some on the way home. 4. I ran 10 kilometers yesterday, and today my whole body hurts. Of course it does. The best cure is more exercise. No way. I can't move. 5. I'm so tired. I've been really stressed out because of my job. 
so I can't sleep at night. I have that problem sometimes, too. Why don't you call your doctor and ask for some sleeping pills? Oh, no. I don't like the idea of sleeping pills. <laughs>